More like, thank you for tapping into uh, another episode of Unbiased Opinions. We're your host, the spiritual wonder suave. Justin Bieber Key. What's good? It's Lennon. And today we got a special guest. I, I definitely appreciate this man for tapping in with us today. I, he, he, it's been a while he was supposed to tap in with us <laughs> for a minute, like a minute back. But, you know, he made it today. Absolutely. And it, it's, it's good to see you. So go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Uh, Mr. Pressure 3 himself. Welcome, cuz oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah. this is our older cousin, y'all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is something big. This is our older cousin, yeah. Learned a lot from this man, so oh, you know. too much, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> he was like a, a pinnacle of uh, our, our, grow, our uh, growing up stages. Right. So, we, that was somebody we would look up to and be like, Hey, we gotta be like, <laughs> Oh, you want to be fly like him? Yeah, I want to be cool like oh, Tori. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and as y'all can see, um. Trey is not here today. He's going on a little hiatus, so you guys probably won't see him for a couple episodes. But um, yeah, he'll be back. So uh, shout out to Trey. You definitely a big, big part of the show. We appreciate man, you, real, bro. And uh, it's always sure much love. I was gonna see him and get I, to talk. Man, with him. you talk yeah. with that one. I'm yeah. telling you, he he makes this he makes his podcast, man. Honestly, like yeah. we all we all have our own unique thing, but that right there is like. 60% yeah. of us. It does. It That's is. my it guy, man. Really he's, he's, a, with him. he's a heartbeat of, of, of part of the show, so I definitely mm -hmm. appreciate uh, him. Whatever he's on his high edge for, I know is something serious and it's worth doing for, man. But get back to us soon, man. Take yeah. care of whatever you got to take care of, bro. Yeah, yeah. We gonna be we gonna be waiting, but uh, big shout out to you guys over the past week though, because uh, y'all really showed out and showed us love. Y'all got us to hit freaking 12k followers on instagram uh wow. this past week we was only at 9k that's yo so and you got, jumped up a whole yeah i was watching it my um, followers yeah, i was watching it uh when we was at 10k and then that one video was going crazy yeah and then i saw like i checked it the next day it was at 10.8 so yeah it just keeps going up which one oh, which man. video went crazy uh the jumping girl yeah, yeah you get oh jumped my in the girl god jumping. that's what the one they went crazy over <laughs> yeah crazy. it's at like yeah how many views now? i think it's like 300k on yeah. instagram and that junk hit no like way. 600k on tiktok yeah. where the money so at? It, it blew up no. on tiktok <laughs> on tiktok uh we didn't even have we had like 400 or 500 on TikTok, and that junk got us to like three thousand mm -hmm. for three thousand wow. followers. Three thousand followers from five hundred. <laughs> so people what was like really showing out. It was uh, if your girls are getting jumped, or well, you like get if you jumped. getting jumped, yeah, you want you the girl getting, to jump yeah. in, yeah. Oh, okay, and then okay. the reverse of that. What would you want? What would you want, Twerk? Would you want her to jump in? If I was getting jumped, yeah, yeah. Mm, no. Yeah, that part. <laughs> That's what it was on. It's like I can't see it. I just can't do it, homie. I'm losing. Uh huh. <laughs> but don't watch, though. Turn around. Yeah, that's what I think. Don't watch. But what if your girl's about to get jumped? <clears throat> I'm gonna break it up. Oh, see, yeah, he, yeah, he a peacemaker. I'm homie. gonna stop it. This the new twerk, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this the this the more revised, wisdom wise twerk right here. I'm I'm thankful when you said that, man. He went with nature now. Yeah, yeah, cuz I'm proud of you, man. Cause I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm taking heads off. <laughs> I'm knocking weaves off. I'm not playing, <laughs> and I'm cocking it from the hip. Now you didn't ask me what have I done. No, no, I didn't say what have you. I said what I will. Yeah, yeah. Right, we ain't telling right. what you had. That's why I say y'all don't know. <laughs> That's why he said it's the it's He's so the good now, man. He grew up, man. We're gonna break that, man. Down. That wisdom, craziness, oh. man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what happens, man. You get older, you done with that stuff. You're like, really? man, I ain't trying to hop in this what? field no more. I ain't trying to get out there like that. Wow. I just feel yeah. like sometimes there's an issue when you break it up that, you know, somebody might catch you. something. Yeah, yeah. then, then, then really it turn into something. Ain't that crazy? I hate yeah. that when, like, you trying to break up a fight and somebody just automatically starts swinging on you. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? Like, hey. I wasn't even swinging. And then it gets and slapped. <laughs> You know, like slap, I'll rather you punch me. Don't slap me. Yeah, a yeah. slap, I'm gonna flip my wig. Yeah, a, a slap, slap is super disrespectful. It's the ultimate disrespect. Yeah. Most definitely. Cause you hear it, uh -huh. it's not like a hit. You it's really thing. hear it. My every <laughs> Your hand is gonna do this instantly. You're gonna oh, touch yeah. your face. Like, yeah, it okay. rings. <laughs> it lingers, yeah. Yeah, that burn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like when you get hit, you know, it kinda 
But like slap, a slap, your face ringing, you hear that look. And I'm so red. Wait. I'm light skin. I'm red. Jordan. So what do you do? Like, do you let the girls fight and just wait? No, no. Nah, nah, I, w- I would definitely try and break it up as well. But oh, I'm just okay. saying, like, you know, Most it definitely. sounds peaceful at first, but then you do mm-hmm. it, and then you're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's you know, hard it's to contain sick. yourself <laughs> if, if you get ahead <laughs> in the process because people don't people don't respect that that like you trying to break it up. They like, oh, I'm gonna get you too. Then. Yeah, and then you like, all right, well. We in it now. Or if she oh got God, any guys in her yeah. group or anything, you know, and they, you know, oh, that's they don't want you to break it up. You better not get it. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm like, I'm, nah, I'm hitting the bitches and I'm telling you, you better not get it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my nigga. <laughs> I am. I'm, I don't have it in me to even try to formulate some peace. There's no peace in that moment. And you're that's survival. Him. And you're telling dude it's not survival. to survival. And I'm telling him not to joke. Why I'm beating this bitch up? Uh, that is crazy. <laughs> That'd be wild. I'm telling you. I mean that. Hey, the girl, the girls was loving it too. They was asking all about you. They was like, "I love that energy." Oh uh, yeah, oh man, yeah. They was on key. I was like, "Yeah." Uh, his Instagram is. <laughs> nah, yeah, <laughs> yo, y'all. I was like, "What the fuck going on?" Out of nowhere, like two hundred to three hundred followers out in, in a couple of days. I'm yeah, like, "What the fuck going on?" From like, you, for you? Yeah. Oh yeah, cause I saw you have like a comment on there, like specifically directed at you that got a lot of likes. Yeah, I was I was I was like, what the fuck going on? Yeah, I'm like, hey, how does this happen? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, they like, oh, that you know, the light skin one, you know, yeah. they, they definitely feeling you. Oh Who's man, Justin Bieber? come on yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called me a ginger Justin Bieber. I was yeah. told, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> how do y'all see Justin what? Bieber though? That's they why I say Justin Bieber key every time. They oh, gave me that title, so I stand on that. I'm gonna oh, get yeah. that to them. So, yeah. They call Trey everything in the book. I know. So he just he has a new name every what week. What did he say? He, he, he like fat nigga Trey. <laughs> yeah, he, he does that one. He does a whole bunch of stuff because they be getting on him like all the time. Oh, I feel God. like I catch more flack in the live than on the comments. Yeah, like in the in, on the Instagram comments. I yeah. don't even. I, well, because I don't have Facebook, so I can't yeah. see the lives. When well, you know how Trey was here, you be looking at the lives too, right? Uh, oh no, Trey was the only one. Doing I know it. when when Blue was here, I, I saw her on it, so I, I was yeah, like I, I would say something that I see. I was, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they not fucking with this one. They not fucking with this one. They'll, they'll be quick. They'll yeah. be quick. They yeah. get on people quick. They do. Like, as soon as they For get real? they upset. You say oh, one thing, they on it. Quick. And they'll be roasting you. Like It'll be not just one. It'll be like 15 yeah, of them. Yeah, they got all back engagement back. on their Maybe comment. Maybe I should be reading this shit. I do not read it. I don't it's read comments at all. Me. It's low-key better not to. I can't yeah. lie. You see why that's why It kind of gets in your head and shit. Oh, it's getting the head too? I mean, oh. for, yeah, that's, sometimes, yeah, what they be saying. Oh, they get like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Serious, no, I hear some shit that they was talking about. Oh, they yeah. talking to them. Trey was like, oh, he almost didn't come back. He was like, I, I wasn't going to come no more. They were really going at these niggas. Yeah, they will, they will attack you. And yeah. then you'll try to talk to them because it's like, Let's let's actually have a conversation right. no, about. Please it. don't make me turn back to the old twerk. Please <laughs> don't. Please don't. That's why you gotta stay away please from the don't conversation. Have do it. Now you started off good by saying you'll break it up. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you. Well, you I mean, they on? might get on you for that. <laughs> That's weak, nigga. Energy. Man. What? <laughs> you about to jump in for me? <laughs> Dang. Man. I'm, man, I'm trying. Wait, to play wait, wait. Okay. Thing. Now let me let me ask this. Mm-hmm. Is she already getting jumped? No, no, hell no. It's, oh, it's just about, about to, to happen. Stop, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I might have to just. Yeah, she ain't going to get touched. Yeah, no. No, she's not going to get touched not once. <laughs> Everybody else is. But so it is a, it is a difference, though. Everybody like you walk is. into an area and she already getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's even yeah. worse. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's like. Yeah. I got to I gotta remake yeah. up now for now the hits you got. Now I got to stomp on somebody because you already hit her. Especially because you know, on, like, because yeah. no. you know, if it's like, like if, it's, if it's a good yeah. amount of them, uh-huh. she's definitely losing. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, she's yeah, losing. Yeah. Hey, come yeah. with it. Like the hair's being pulled all mm-hmm. different she's ways. The hammer yeah. fist and I know she got mm-hmm. pretty hair. That's mine. Right. But, yeah, come on now, I'm <laughs> acting out. Yeah. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. For some reason, like. Girl fights be ruthless. Yeah, they do. Like, that uppercut, yeah. how they Man. do it? They, yeah, nigga, they get the back of the head. Yeah. Then the uppercut's yeah. done deal. They be having a death grip uh-huh. on the uh-huh. hair almost oh, every time. He's trying to block all them to the <laughs> face. As soon as somebody get the death grip on the hair, it's a wrap. That one piece dress be above yeah. the, the hips no. and shit. You know, it be oh, bad. Like, yeah. like, like, it be the bad. The titty fall yeah, out. Yeah, all yeah. That. <laughs> Bitch, you lucky. The tube top. Why they always fighting tube tops? Uh, every time I see. Look. <laughs> The two, top, the two tops is like one of the most famous ones. The most yeah, famous. Right. It never failed. Bitch, you only hit me <laughs> once. 
and it never fails. It always it pops out. Fails. It, it always pops out. The every tube time, the like, tube talk is crazy. Percent. She be bleeding everything, but that tube talk getting pulled up. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> after though, after not, the not before, during the fight. After, yeah. Not during the fight. <laughs> during and the they, fight, it's all and out. And they always seem barefooted. <laughs> yes. They always seem barefooted. Mm -hmm. I hate, that's why I don't want my girl going through that. And then there's cameras nowadays. I don't want my girl. And then a female grabbing her by her hair and spinning in a circle on camera. That can't be my woman, bro. That can't be my woman. It cannot be my woman. She, she getting slain. Wow. Slain. Yeah, you, Sharkeisha. You watch too much world star. Yeah. That's all I watch. Yeah. I can't see it. I like my back. That's, that's how they go, fights. though. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly how they go. Somebody barefoot in a tube top. No, for real. They stuff popped out. Picture. They pulling it back up after the fight. Like, Oh Dude. my god! <laughs> and then girls will still talk mess after. Oh yeah. Even if they got beat up, after, and I'm, I'm just like, you. come on now. You I barely hit it. me. Look yeah. at me, pony <laughs> <something> like <laughs> barely hit me. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, it's it's brutal, bro. It, it's brutal. It's madness. The only other people I feel like fight harder than females, skateboarders. Skateboarders. Them white skateboarder dudes. Yeah. They are monstrous with. Oh, I haven't seen. I've seen oh like my one. God. I've seen when they like hit people it. with boards. Yeah, stuff. the boards. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, yo, they don't stop. It's like they on crack when they when they fight. I swear to God, they fight That's hard. Crazy. The I thought you were gonna say hard. black dudes. I was gonna say the, most likely. Them skateboarders for sure. <laughs> black dudes be ruthless. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm just seeing yeah. them fight. But we've seen it so much. It's just, growing it, up, I'm used to that yeah. fight. You know, somebody's gonna get I'm slapped. I'm gonna be honest. We keep it more cordial than a lot of other. Like, no, no, exactly. That's like why I'm that. saying I'm talking to harder other fights. Well, but ours don't, are more, yeah. yeah, don't put no phones I'll out. Say, we, no. I'll say this the reason why, though, is because in most of like the black fights that I see with men, somebody getting knocked out. Yeah, and once yeah. once the knockout happens, it's over. Got your ass. Yeah, the yeah, dude. But it's over. Yeah, it's done. It's over. Yeah, because I mean, he's sleeping, and then dude just. Yeah, that's what. Mm -hmm. But what that's what you he's saying. Say? That's what he's saying with the skateboarders. Though you knock them out, you still gonna hit them. Yeah, they still, they still, they still yeah. going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's probably that's because they're <laughs> killing. Yeah, like they score The girl's still going. The girl like this, they still uh -huh. going. Yeah, they're still on her. Rap two times. And she trying to block mm -hmm. all yeah. the uppercuts. <laughs> all them uppercuts. They, you they see how they fling them up? Okay. Yeah, like I quit. I can't on me. They stop. Let me go. Let me go. Niggas I don't want to go that. Fight, <laughs> nigga get knocked out all that and uh -huh. turn around and they can be conversating in the same areas and all that. Facts. I promise that you. that energy is out with niggas, it's that's yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, like what I've seen. What I've, yeah. yeah, when I was raised, yeah. yeah. And I know I've seen people, if you pull a phone out in those type of environments, you next. Yeah. Don't ever have your phone out around those, at least the dudes I grew up around, they weren't, they weren't on <laughs> There's that. a lot of them. Yeah, they're not recording. playing. Though. We didn't want no phones out because we're going to get you next. <laughs> you still think it's it's like that, though, where Hell no. it's still Everybody the same energy? No, I just mean the same energy as, you know, you get embarrassed or beat up you, and and everyone's cool. Like, obviously, like, you know, he, they didn't fight, but like the Nipsey situation. <clears throat> he had told them off and embarrassed them a little bit. Dude came back with a gun, you know? Like, I, I feel like that's more so how the generation is now. Yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah, most definitely. It's hard to swallow that pill, especially I mean, in, in some, a gangbanger in some case, environment. Yeah. Like, if you get slept. Like your best bet is to to be cordial after that, cause how you look if you try to like do some ultimate retaliation after you got knocked out. But mm -hmm. you look kind of stupid. Like Jordan said though, it's because of the social media because mm -hmm. people can run there and say this and show that. If yeah, you did, yeah. People are more like, I gotta do something back. Yeah. But that's why I think it's it's, that's why I think yeah. it's on, it depends yeah. on the context. You know, like if somebody gets slept, I think they know it's over. Like, all right, these videos got to come out, whatever, you know. But I think if somebody gets, like, embarrassed to where, like, you hit them a couple of times and they was like, stop, stop, that person's probably going to do something crazy. Because then they're like, I was telling them to stop. I'm, now I'm embarrassed. I'm going right. to do that. When, when he was talking about the Nipsey one, he was talking about how, like, <clears throat> Nipsey didn't fight him. He just told him, like, yo, you can't be here. You considered a snitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ratting or something. Yeah. And But we're in a g gang culture. Like, I was raised around people that gang bang, but I never did. But, you know, I always learned the lessons I was taught. But like, you know, they have to stand on their name. That's everything. So the dude was so embarrassed by that. Like, if, if Nipsey say something like that, bro, you're you're smutted out. Yeah. So of course he Most gonna that. yeah, he yeah. had to do what he did. Y'all gotta remember Nipsey was still a gangbanger. Yeah, for sure. He was still oh, yeah. a gangbanger. But I feel like in as today's prolific he was, he was a gangbanger. I, I still feel like in today's world though, a lot of people, you know, 
just they 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 try to live that lifestyle more mm-hmm. so and stuff too because even uh there's like tiktok and i don't know if that i haven't seen one in a while but you know like it'd be like a dude like what you gonna do if, you know on tiktok where he, he make like a little reel he like he's a big buff dude he like what you gonna do if i s- slap your girl ass or something crazy yeah. I'm, you know how to kill me bro <laughs> you know, that's how i said that people yeah. people people will stitch that and like like just say they gonna shoot him like show the gun or whatever you know I'll probably I think most of those they be trying to be funny though. yeah I know that I'm just yeah, saying just it just seems like more thing. so the embarrassing it's, it's hard to just I just feel like in today's world there's not a it's not as fade for fade as it used to be cause back then you know you get into a fight you lose a fight you embarrassed just in your neighborhood yeah. for a little bit and then we all shake it off oh yeah yeah this shit is going global I feel like the embarrassment level global. is higher but... you got people in New Zealand calling yeah. you a bitch like you do, yeah. what I'm saying. Like that's hard for them to swallow. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> different, mean, language. <laughs> different language. Different language. On everything. That but is, yeah, that's tough. It's just because people can't take stuff like that anymore, and social media is crucial. People, yeah. mm-hmm. people feel like they have a way bigger voice on social media. Like they can get far with what they say because mm-hmm. it gets to people. But like, the yeah. honest truth is, it gets to people because a whole bunch of people rallying behind people, or a whole bunch of people liking somebody's comment, make you feel your shit valid. They yeah. started believing. You like, get validation oh, off of likes. Yeah. <laughs> the heart made yeah. you feel valid, nigga. You ain't got no yes. heart in your own chest, but you send these likes that's, give that's you how it is, courage. Man. That's crazy. Yeah, they you know like, mean? yeah, this person rallying behind me. Mm-hmm. Everybody like, like keep, this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the topic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be back on this video next I week. Mean, but those same people can't sit here and do what we do. They don't have the courage to sit behind the camera and actually vocalize what they feel in their oh, own yeah. thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of them. Right. If you pay attention to a lot of the profiles of people who like are super vocal, Mm -hmm. it's always profiles that don't really have nothing on it. Mm -hmm. There's Mm -hmm. not a lot of pictures on there. There's Mm -hmm. not a lot. Could be a burner account. Yeah. All the ones in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, The ones who comment the most like that. Uh huh. Oh yeah. The ones who like saying the bad comments. The ones that's going at you. Look at their profile. You can tell they hiding behind the computer. I need to start it's looking. Like, oh, I don't want to. Well, be you seen. can't. Okay, yeah, because yeah. you can't be seen. Like, bro, your your Instagram. Like, if I were to have an interview or something, you know, it's it's not hard to Google my name and mm-hmm. uh, see your Facebook and you know, so like people can see what you posting and shit. So it's it's mm-hmm. it's better off not you know keeping it as <laughs> yeah. discreet as possible. Yeah. Like, you ain't gonna see what I'm doing in my life. Right. Like, yeah. You ain't, you ain't gonna know that where I work at right. <laughs> that I don't got no job. Yeah, <laughs> it's my sister. This, phone. this will keep me alive right now. Yeah. Right. I'm on Wi Fi. That's the only way I can get on this. Shit. Right. <laughs> it just makes people feel better about themselves sometimes. I'm like, dang, that really made you feel good. It's shit. serious out there. That's wild. I guess I'm just a little different. Like, if I don't know you, you it wouldn't really offend me. That part. Yeah. That oh part. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're in New Zealand and you're telling me how whatever I'm going, it wouldn't offend me. Like I would be like probably like whatever, but it wouldn't offend me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm I'm not about the whole verbal tennis. I don't like going back and forth, nigga. My in my mental, I'm like, do you want to fight? Do you want to kill me? Like, what do we want to do? Because I just want to resolve and I want to move forward. Honest <laughs> to God, I don't. I'm really have no. My tolerance is not it, bro. Yeah. To me, I like. I like conversation, so right. what I try to do is test people' conversation skills. Let no, but I'm saying they're attacking where you your though. conversation skills are at. Like, if you can actually vocalize what you want to say uh-huh. and get it out into a proper manner to where I know, like, it's a legit critique, mm-hmm. we can talk about it. You think- but if you can't, and I can see that your your level just ain't there, like you don't know how to converse with people. Then why am I even worried about it's it? It's a feeble mind. Yeah. You think that's easier to do over the internet though? Oh no, it's harder. But yeah, you, nah. that that's the thing about it is you sift a lot. You can sift better through those to yeah. see like, oh, this is really not somebody who's on that. Well, and that's what with like, that. uh, like internet talk and stuff. It's it's harder to convey emotion and understand the emotion behind it and stuff. Oh so yeah, things can be skewed a lot more because I love conversation too. But when it comes to comments. I, that's yeah, it's just tougher for me. You that, can read it at a different octave. My bad. Go ahead. Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. But that's what it's for, though. I yeah. feel like social media is for people just to be able to voice their thing. It's not really for a, a back and forth, forth. a yeah. debate. You put out what you feel or what you right. You feel me, and, and then they're gonna yeah, and that's that. Yeah, but see, people I think... take it so personal. Like mm-hmm. you saying, I, I don't want to go in the back and forth, but it shouldn't be that. Like it should yeah. be like oh, okay. 
that's what they said. That's how they feel. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on. I can that's tell you a silence for yeah. sure. I'm well, quick with that. That's why I say even with like our Instagram and the and the comments and stuff. I know Suave and Trey was big on like you know, interacting with the audience. And, shit. and I think that's that's cool. But to your yeah. point, I feel like it also could be just detrimental because a lot of times people are not really trying to hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They already heard your initial point on a video and they have their opinion Rebuttal. on it. And right. that's not going to change, especially over the internet because yeah, yeah. The, the, the respect ain't really there. It's just an internet conversation, you know? And so... Uh, that's that. That's more so why I don't really be checking. But I think comments. that's the problem with the internet. Right. Yeah. In, in a nutshell, is like people, like the internet talk is so toxic. Like just being honest about just how it is. Because, for example, like people will say something and then if you try to converse with them and understand why they say what they said, people will say, well, it's just the internet. You shouldn't take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And why'd you post it? You, Why'd you say you, it? You want somebody to say something. Yeah, you. But they don't know how to articulate. So you want the attention, but yeah. you don't want the conversation. See, that's big. That's weird. That's real. That's you know what I mean. That's tough. Yeah. That's so it's like you you say something, but you don't want somebody to respond to what you say. You just want to say it. You want it out there. Yeah. You want the likes. You want the, you want all that. You want oh that was tight. Oh I like what you said. You want the glory behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you don't want somebody to challenge you and be like, oh why did you say that? Oh, that's an interesting point. Like, why don't you elaborate? Because right. then you'd be, uh, 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 uh. But that's why right. I feel like everyone's more comfortable because there's no confrontation on the internet. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's, it's no, like, uh, real consequence for saying something crazy to somebody on the internet. Like, mm -hmm. potentially, if you, like, uh, of status and stuff, like, people could condemn you and stuff for that. But as far as, like, in real life, you, sometimes you got to watch your tongue because you're like, okay. Is this person gonna punch me in my face? You know, as yeah, opposed right. to on the internet, it's really just you could call someone a bitch, yeah, and turn it, around it, and, and go you eat good, cereal. yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. yeah, yeah. They can get away with stuff a lot easier, but that's why I say I'd like to test test people conversation skills. I like to see where they at. Because sure. when you see somebody can't really discuss what they want to say or really hit their point. It's useless. It's like, oh, you you just one of those. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to articulate your opinion for me to see it valid for even you. I'm going to say it's valid for you just because you went out your way and articulated. You broke it down for me. And I'm going to respect that even more. Mm -hmm. But when you're just sitting there saying it's this, when I ask, like, well, why do you think that or something? You're just like, because it is. It is what yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, that means you really don't even know why you're saying that. Who did exactly. you agree with? Who did you else did you hear say that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. I don't like that shit at all. But that's what that's what separates like people who are actually on couches like this from like a lot of like the trolls online. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. these are people right. who actually can touch on points and can discuss things and and get their point across. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I feel about stuff like that. But I want to talk about. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Uh, this is happening. I want to talk about flirting. Uh, flirting. Okay. If your partner, if someone's flirting with your partner, would you get upset? I gotta know. You know what? My my perspective on this shit. I don't know what the fuck flirting is. I know it's either you fucking with that motherfucker, or you not. But like people talking about flirting, like what is it when they do that shit? Like, look over their shoulder or something. <laughs> that they eyes. I don't fucking Yo, know. What the uh, fuck is flirting? I was just talking to somebody about what? that shit, bro. I, what? I don't know what flirting is. Because <laughs> girls tell me I'm flirting. Bitch, I'm talking. I ain't talking about flirting. Yeah, I think that's kind of the... I think on a person-to-person -person basis, it's your threshold of what you consider. Because, like, you, obviously, you know someone... Yo, you asked for her number or... And that's called flirting, though? Not necessarily flirting, but, hey, like... And that's why it, it, I think contextually, it I think context matters because as far as situations go, right, does this person even know that she is a single or in a relationship and vice versa, you know? And so context-wise, it just, I think there's so much context to this sort of question that but it will make me mad and not mad. You mm. said, is this person single? She knows if she's single Exactly, or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But to you as well, if your girl's in the corner with a guy and she giggling, laughing, and he he ha ha, and mm -hmm. it don't matter what's going on, that's considered flirting. Yeah. Okay. So if it ain't just hi, how you doing? Oh, my name is so and so, and keep it moving. But it could be the homie though. With the homie in the corner well, with that, your girl, yeah, like giggling but and shit. What if it's somebody you don't know? Um, true. And it's grocery store. I wouldn't. Oh, the grocery store. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. How you picked that? <laughs> you picked the grocery that's store. That's, like, that's crazy. How do you pick like, like that? Because that. that's a place where you could be a few steps back with a basket, and she's a few steps up, and the guy don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I guess I ain't been with a female who ever even made me think. That's why I don't think like that. But like, if you with me, you already know what it is. I'm not right, on that. Yeah, right. yeah. I ain't never had it. Yeah. So how how would you feel if it, if that did happen though? Damn. Man, now you are gonna put me in a hyperbole, huh? Um, we getting you ready. Damn, for <laughs> real, cause I'm not used to that shit. You said you was vanilla, <laughs> right? I'm vanilla <laughs> with shit. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. Should I feel some type of way? See, I, I'm I'm just asking, like, cause for me personally, I wouldn't. I don't I don't react to that. I type wouldn't of be shit. upset. You wouldn't be upset if like, somebody. Was what's flirting. the full context though? Just if somebody That's was flirting. That's what I want to ask. Like, I'm yeah. just saying, yeah. just you in general, be if somebody upset with your girl. Or you wouldn't be upset with the guy. Neither. Oh, I'm not gonna be mad at the dude. Like, okay, now, cause I'm just saying, if somebody's flirting with her, mm -hmm. so oh, like, say, okay, okay. I'm not saying that she's entertaining it. I'm not saying oh, she's okay, okay. going. That's, I'm just saying oh, okay. somebody comes Different. up and they're flirting. Like, dang, you know, you look good. Blah blah oh. blah. They doing all that. You know, like just all. I'm like, no, I, I appreciate would, you, I homie. That's my lady. I, you, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, that's okay, my lady. I have a, I have a like real life experience. An example. I just thought of this. Uh, me and my girl at the time, we had went to a bar. She had met me there. Mm. And there was like a group of older guys like across the bar. Mm -hmm. And she had came up and sat next to me and they had sent her a drink. And I just, I, I didn't really care. Like similarly, like what you, like cool, you think she's pretty or whatever. Mm. I ended up drinking a drink and shit. Even and more I, boss. That's right. boss. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, <laughs> like what, what am I going to do? Go over and be like. Hey, you know, like I'd rather Man. just hey, don't, thanks for the free drink. Don't like, send my girl no drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. crazy. Thanks, yeah. Bub, but we're good. <laughs> yeah. Hell no, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I take the fifteen dollar <laughs> uh, uh, Moscow drink. Oh, like, that's too much. Hell no. Like, yeah. Give me this. Let's drink this together. I'm gonna get half. You get half. Double yeah. straw. We gonna yeah. look at this <laughs> together. <laughs> On me. Thank y'all. Give him. Let's give him a heart together. Yeah. Let's get another one. Yeah. But um, Mimi put up a good point. She said uh. Wait, she said if you entertain that, then absolutely she would be upset. That's that I think is. that's work point. That it's like, uh, yo, we have a respect between each other, and if mm -hmm. you entertaining it, it's a little. It's, we was talking about this before this show even started because we was talking about like you know the the sex episode, how the girls were saying it was getting dick pics and shit, mm -hmm. and right. he mm. was saying at that point, are you deleting the person entirely or right. just the picture? And oh, you still you yeah, still that got was, that. Yeah. Grand rising queen and that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand rising queen. Like, oh, we delete the pictures. Yeah, no, that was a good one. Though. Oh, so oh, buddy, you're just over there, like, yeah, yeah he gonna shit. hit you up later. <laughs> it's right. gonna be a foot yeah. pick this time. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. gonna show me that though? Or he yeah. just look waiting. what he sent me. You know, send me the foot. On. Yeah, he already let you know exactly what he's on. Mm -hmm. So, right. what are you? He needs to be deleted. Absolutely. If you my woman, you getting a dick pic. Are you crazy? He doesn't Block want to this be your nigga. friend. Yeah. What the fuck are we he even talking? I shouldn't even have to tell you no know, weird shit like that. Yeah. Lobby, lobby, none of that. And I shouldn't even have. You shouldn't even feel like you need to come tell me the nigga did that. I should be able to trust you enough. As soon as you get a dick pic, well, I'm blocking this I'm nigga. Saying. And don't even tell me about it. I want to be able to trust her like. But that. what if you saw it? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? That's weird. Why would you see it? I mean, what if you oh. looking through her phone? Oh, I don't do that. Oh, and she ain't delete it. it. She ain't delete it. Oh, yeah. Hypothetically, yeah. So well, I'm just saying. hypothetically. Okay, what, if I was yeah. a nigga that yeah. went through people's yeah. phones, no, well, uh, just say let, <laughs> my okay, heart gonna say, hurt. No, <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Your heart gonna hurt, nigga. Do not go through her phone, bro. Don't ever. I that's swear the, to God. See, that's the problem with this in general, though, is because no matter what, men are going to be flirting with. Whoever you're dating, no, no matter what, yeah, because yeah. it just happens. People are people interact, they run into, and then they flirt. Yeah, men want the same, same thing, and then sometimes women will flirt with with dudes. It just happens. I just you know? never been. I it, mean, I never been. A, you got a man. I'm not going. I'm not going to pursue you. I'm gonna really not even treat you like a homie. I'm just not going to pay attention to you. But say if you seen her and you don't know. I know, but I'll find as soon as she told me, I'm like, okay, well, y'all good. Yeah, I'm gonna walk off on it. Some niggas, know. no, some niggas don't though. Well, you ain't married. Oh, yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah, in her yeah. ear, like, yeah. you ain't married, though, yeah. where the ring at. That's crazy. And yeah. The, and again, you got to think, like, it's still, everybody flirts different or considers things different as flirting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the wild part. So that's, Perception you know, is really like everything. Like he said, he wouldn't even be mad at either before he said that he was just talking about the guy just flirting. He said, but he wouldn't be mad at either mm -hmm. if they were flirting. So I wouldn't be mad at the dude either. I'll be, because I'll pop up and be like, what's happening, man? Yeah, that's my lady. How he responds to that, mm -hmm. that's not getting mad. But even if her, if she's sitting there giggling with some nigga, I'm gonna tell her, yo, you out of pocket. Right. I'm definitely gonna say that. Right. 
But I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm just like, yo, you out of pocket. You need to tighten up. Yeah, and <laughs> tighten up. I think uh, I view like people who are open to that type of interaction too. Like, if I was the person in the relationship and they knew that and they were still pursuing me, I, I that kind of turns me off with them too because mm-hmm. uh, still doing it. Or even yeah. like uh, even vice versa. If I was talking to somebody and they was with somebody. And that, like who, who like who do you think you are like like they would leave you or they would leave that person for you you think you that yeah, much better than that person yeah that's what I'm you. saying that's all like, in the back of my head that's why I don't do it because I don't want the female to look at me like that because if I ever did get with you you and me like you were pursuing me when I have somebody you pursue the next female that got somebody mm-hmm. I don't want to be looked at like that because like I, I wouldn't said, fuck her either like. who said that who said who said what Trey's in, Trey's in here shout out to Trey but uh, hey. who, who said laughing with a with another man is out of pocket. La- laughing with another man's out of pocket. No, he's asking. But y'all saying that you saying them saying, flirting who, though. Who said that? I did. Oh, you said laughing? I did because you're saying like if they're in the corner flirting and shit, and you say she's laughing. Well, Twerk was talking about her laughing in the corner and shit. That's because oh, some flirting. Well, Not if it's just jokey and I shit. I would. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I think there's a there's a certain level to like which what would be considered flirting because I don't think a conversation between two people is actually flirting i wouldn't so either. somebody's like approaching each other and they talking duh, 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 and they just started laughing in conversation then i wouldn't i wouldn't be bothered by that now if they're like if he if he's like dang you know you them thighs is like and then she ah, you know mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that's, but and then it's, it's, it's where you place <laughs> yourself then, Yo, it's where you thank you if She's with her man. How is she even stopping to have a conversation with another man? You should be like, that's my man right over there. My man's here. That, 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 so the flirting should never even occur. Mm-hmm. It's, it's well, different places in I our think, heads, though. Well, the way I see it is like, in my mind, I'm just thinking, I don't think every man that's approaching every woman wants to flirt. That part. Because like, for me, I example, don't, I'm the same I, way. when I approach woman or a woman i don't want to flirt with every woman and i don't want a woman to take every approach that i encounter with them as mm-hmm. flirting Facts. you know so if if a dude is with his girl and me and her is talking or whatever i don't want him to think like i'm a threat just because i'm talking to her or whatever mm-hmm. because that's not the case in every scenario so i that's how i perceive it as well so when i'm looking at certain interactions i'm not seeing it as flirting because i'm like this could just be somebody trying to have a conversation now if they pass the boundaries where it's like certain things where i'm like okay wait that don't sound Whispering on her ear and shit yeah, that don't sound right that don't See, look right hey. now we we get we going a little too far but i think but, that's uh, the context of it where it's like um you know when it's touch involved or like really close and even then like i don't know like even really close like it depends on the environment you're in if it's a loud place uh who who this person i don't know like to trey's point like laughing uh it i don't think that would necessarily bother me it's more so like if it got to a point where he's touching or things like that and she's not willing to address it it's like okay what's between us you so know? where are you placing yourself when you're thinking of this where where do you see the setting in your head because my settings right. is what's fucking me up that's right now because right, right. yeah, i'm from right. a different club. lifestyle are you in club, the store? Strip club. Right. Yeah, i'm you thinking the, there too though. you know what i'm saying like if you're in a nightclub it's loud he gonna be talking her ear and she giggling it's gonna look weird my nigga. Right. <laughs> yeah you dig what i'm saying or in a strip club no nigga should be talking to nobody ain't a stripper don't talk to my female you should be talking that's my mental of settings so like what are your mental settings because i that's what i'm saying my example that's why i'm giving this type of perspective because i'm seeing it elsewhere well because that's my you're talking about a house party that's well fine. i mean no i'm because i think with where we're at in age and stuff like clearly it's more like nightclub-esque and stuff and uh yeah for me like i think it's more so just like a security in myself like the person i'm with mm-hmm. if it gets to an excessive point that they will address it and also it just depends who the person like is this a random person who's coming up to our table and wanting to you know I mean, ease themselves into having be, yeah. a drink of our bottles or what uh, like I, it's, there's just so many different circumstances that yeah i mean it could yeah. be me you know, and it could the, be a yeah. random person me and the nightlife is i see shit so different right <laughs> but see i mean but i think that's just could be the mentality of you thinking like that's what the club and the nightlife is like based on is people interacting with people trying to oh i want to get at this girl i want to do that but mm-hmm. i don't think every case would be like that you no know? Like i'm not worried about her though like, you know like there's conversations i've had with people at clubs and it's just been conversations just because we just all chilling we drinking hey what's up and it, it, to be honest it happens a lot at raves 
but but it's not on flirting have you approached a female while she was standing or with a guy just randomly to talk to her that's disrespectful Lots of times. oh yeah yeah my boy I'm saying, well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because, it, like, for example, like at raves, that's just how that is. The, the mm-hmm. Raves is Everybody's different than a nightclub. Talk, yeah, but like okay, strip it, club. It, it, yeah. But yeah, people still approach club. people in that sense, and yeah. I think, and and you'll just be talking to people, and that's just how it is. People converse like that, so it's like that's I take that, and I just that's how I converse. See, but I, we were talking about if I was club. to feel that way, so I'm putting myself in those shoes for y'all. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, if I'm with her, I want her to walk around, be seen. But at the end of the day, she knows she mine. I, and I love that type of shit. I want everybody here to be googly eyed over yeah. her. Let her walk through. She can talk to men. I, I don't ever want to look down. Like talk to men like you would talk to anybody else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But she know that's mine. And I'm I, there's no leash on it. If I gotta have a leash on it, what the, what's the point of having? Most definitely. Yeah. I don't definitely want no, no female I got a leash on. I want somebody I can grow with, know the whole room by the end of the night. They know both of us as we walk out. Yeah, I think it's just like a respect thing. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. she's walking around, and if someone, you know, offer her a drink, she already know, like, okay, it, like, she could let it be known, well, my man need right. a drink too type shit or something. Like, I don't know. Like, where it's just known, like, okay, it's not going to be to this extent that you... You know, I'm not this available, you know, but I'm she down to buy her own. Up. She can buy her own. Or that too, yeah. Oh, that's a boss right there. I like yeah. the ones that's going to buy. I'm good. I got mine. I done seen it, homie. I seen it. I said, she's so cold for that. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't let her take a drink? Uh, no, I definitely drink? weren't. Like, if you can go get something. You have, it's Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like, go out there. be Use what the fuck you got because you're only young once. Mm-hmm. Utilize all your youth, all your looks. If you can get drinks, go get drinks. That's what the fuck I want you to do. Step up with your girls. If, you, if this nigga want to get you a drink, get one. Mm-hmm. But most niggas ain't gonna buy you one when you say I'm with my man. That's yeah, at least the nigga that see me, he not gonna but do he it. He gave you a situation where he was actually there, and they still sent it over. Yeah, that's that's different. I, I, I mean, couldn't. Uh, it happens in some cases. Yeah. But no, he drank the drink though. That's where he made up for that. Yeah, <laughs> you made up for but it. That's what I'm saying. It's, just, it's similarly in like right. that type of setting where yeah. it's like, mm-hmm. okay, well, he need a drink too, or. You know, like I don't know. Like you said, she was there first. Send it. Was she there first? No, I was at the bar. Were you talking about my situation? I was at the bar first. Uh She had came and met up with me and sat next to me. And these niggas sent her a drink. Yeah, I'm so happy you drank it, bro. Yeah, I'm happy you drank it because that's fucked up. I would have tripped out. (laughs) Yeah, I would have tripped out. (laughs) But what if he was just buying her a drink? (laughs) No, fuck that, nigga. You see me, Mark? That's that's disrespectful, dog. But but I not see why you saying that. But it's like my that's my security though. Like I know she has no intention or or interest in wanting to entertain. Oh no, no, not that. It's the niggas. Yeah, for sure. That's. They're disrespecting me now at that point. It's not See, about yeah, my yeah, girl yeah, yeah, doing yeah. that. That's yeah. that's my mentality. You disrespecting me now, bro. Yeah. And now I'm I feel like I'm gonna be outraged. Mm. But the fact that you drank it, that was player of you. That's the makeup right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, I, I think it's a, like it's about like if then they start oppressing the situation and shit. I think right. then it's different. But like mm. me knowing I could drink the drink. I'm fucking her later. Like she don't got no interest in you. you. Like it's I'm good off that. I think, yeah. I think that that's more so how my mentality would be towards something like that. Yeah. That's yeah. why I wouldn't really trip off of it. Because it's like it. if if I I feel like if I trip off of it, I'm low key saying that you you, you have a you have an in. Mm-hmm. You might have an in and I feel insecure about that. And I don't mm-hmm. and I don't. So I was like, why would I feel that way? Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying I'm not insecure about it. It's just I don't want them thinking. I know my girl not gonna do nothing. Yeah, I don't yeah. worry about it. But you did that shit to spit in my face. Yeah. That's how I'm taking it. Yeah, like, like man to you, man. That's yeah. Some, yeah I, I, homie. I see how you can take take yeah. it like I'm gonna take that. it because that's why he did but he, it. But they can't. Huh? They, they can't, can't what? spit in your yeah, face. Yeah, they can't spit right. in your face if the girl's not going nowhere. If she's not going nowhere, that's not a spit in your face. She that's gonna, a spit yeah. in a mist. She's mm-hmm. going to calm me down. <laughs> she's going to be the one to calm me down. She's going to be like, just chill, just chill. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to want to act out in that Yeah, Because I see what you're saying too, where yeah. it's like, clearly we've shown enough that we are here together uh-huh. and you still trying to do this. It's yeah, kind of disrespect. That's disrespectful. Yeah. That's disrespectful. I see my, where you're coming from too. Like my yeah. stomach flipping I, right I, now. I, I, like you it. said, or thank you. Yeah. Or yeah. That's the room yeah. Or I'm drinking you better. You better drink for that for sure. It'd be different if they sent us both drinks. Oh man, we appreciate y'all. We gonna go toast mm-hmm. over there. We gonna talk. I'm gonna take me, and my girl, take our drinks over there. Talk to them. Cheers up with them. Yeah. But buying one fucking drink for her, I'm losing it. But I mean, there's 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 it. some people out there that could buy both of y'all drinks and still try to get with your girl. Yeah, but that's why I'm I'm a, I'm I'm gonna shut that down. I'm gonna show like I'm man enough to come over there and thank y'all. Cheers with y'all. And me and my girl and go right back to our seats. Yeah. 
You know I mean, what there's saying? somebody, there's people out there that would do. Oh, that. trust me, I don't see, I don't see like, it just, at all. You know, just the way. It so it's like it, it can happen both ways, and both of them would, would technically be a spit in your face, and you wouldn't even know it. You know, yeah. that one just seems a little more kind because he's giving you a drink with mm-hmm. it. But it can still be a spin. And then that's why that's oh, why I'm com- making sure I'm coming over there to cheers and I'm I'm gonna make you not feel no type of way. Like you're not getting over on me on that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just something I'm I'm wired yeah. different, bro. Um, no, I feel it. Keisha, I hope I'm I'm saying your name right. It looks like a Keisha. That's what it looks like it said. But she said, uh basically men are snakes like oh, like shit. that sometimes. All they need is a little window of opportunity. Women too. Mm-hmm. And then it's a scandalous world out here. You just got to trust who you with because it's always somebody that's going to try you mm-hmm. if you let them based on your loyalty. If you let them. That's the that's key word. If you let them. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Trey said, what's y'all issue with opposite sex combo conversation? None. None. I don't. Did she? Oh, and that's where that I don't have from. any. I don't. I don't Oh, well, it was to someone else. Say it one more time. Well, that was that was basically to us, but somebody responded to that, right? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. But to gotcha. Keisha' point, though, that's how I feel. Like, mm-hmm. there's always like you can't control everybody, everybody, and you know you don't even want to control the person you with. But you can create a foundation of respect and trust with this person, where y'all know is nothing that could sort of penetrate what y'all got. Y'all know, you know. And so I'd rather work with that as opposed to like, oh, I'm I'm pissed at this guy because he's trying. Uh, and I think there's there's grounds for like, okay, now you disrespecting me too much and mm-hmm. shit. But for the most part, I go into situations and understand our dynamic and mm-hmm. I don't really let that, I won't let other people affect that, you know, as long as we keep the respect in our boundaries, you know. Yeah, that, I go crazy on my respect. That's what I think it is. You know, it, I think that's what it should be about. It's like, Cause I mean I I get how people can say it's a scandalous world out mm-hmm. there, I mean I wouldn't try to view everything as scandalous though, but I understand why people can say that. But at the same time, it's like if you trust in the person that you with, mm-hmm. then you shouldn't have a problem with all these outsiders, like mm-hmm. you said. Right, right. Other people gonna try to, other they, people will try to break up anything. They better want like people will try to break up your relationship and they'll be your friend. See my just house. against oh, you just shit. because they like, oh that ain't no good for you to. They they the same type of danger. I seen that, bro. I seen that shit. But as long as you got trust in who you with, and you know that that y'all y'all good. I want everybody to want her. I, that's I love that type of shit. Oh, then she gonna be <laughs> yeah, flirting. No, with. no, you know what I'm saying. She was walking through the room, and no, it's not even that she's flirting. Just her her confidence in herself. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of dudes love a female confidence. That's the number one thing we look for in females is their confidence. Like I don't seen niggas try to pursue like a, try a super ugly thing but her confidence was because her confidence was so high a lot of these humans aren't as confident like that no more i also think like as men like we our standards like we you know <laughs> we're looking for enough for sure like bro if you if you consider like girls profiles on tinder and hinge and shit compared to guy profiles these girls getting matches every fucking day they don't got to swipe on shit Mm-hmm. Whereas guys, right. you really got to swipe on everybody and okay, let's let's analyze this one, analyze this one, you know, and that's just kind of the way of the world. Like, like women are, you know, like guys, you know, are very interested in women, so it's just gonna be that through and through, and, you know, and so it, it it's tough to to find that balance of, like I, because I agree with you, you want this girl that's like, uh, you know, a, like obviously you find her attractive, so other people find her attractive mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, you know, in part times, yeah, I get the girl potentially had confidence, but man, like guys also be wanting, you know, like that that wet wet, you know. So, <laughs> and, 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 and they'll do it with damn near anybody. Oh you know? my so. soul, they got the rubber rubber things and all that. <laughs> yeah, now, bro. yeah. Do y'all think uh, women look better with or without makeup? I think that that's how it's a big thing on confidence too in a lot of people. Yeah, let me hear honest opinions on that. I got my own little breakdown. I I like uh the lightest form of makeup possible. 
Like I don't like heavy makeup. You want mm-hmm. the natural. Yeah. Look. So if it's night, yeah. like yeah, natural. A light foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. To where yeah. where it looks natural, it's not too overdone. Where it's like her face and her neck yo, the same color. Why you look like a clown? I'm not the same color. <laughs> <laughs> Your cheeks red, and then you got red lips. <laughs> I, I most definitely agree with that, but I feel like if she pretty, she's pretty. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, a thousand percent. Because like, I don't need, I wouldn't, me myself, I wouldn't talk to a girl who wore a lot of makeup or face changing makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you take that shit off and I see. You know what I mean? A whole nother being. Right. <laughs> That's I, a, yo, I've seen it. Like man. when yeah, the yeah, eyebrows yeah. like come yeah. completely off I'm and you're like, like you, those weren't real? You're not there. I wonder the history of makeup and like how it's become normalized for that's like how a girl finds her confidence compared to men don't do none of that. You see Niggas how, do it. You they see do filters. It no, there's, there's, filters I mean, is yeah, makeup now. Yeah, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, as far as like, bro, going <laughs> no, out, yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah. in order for us to go out, I gotta get, you know, I gotta put some stuff on my face and stuff. And it's, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing because I do think confidence is important and stuff. But I do wonder how, you know, that is so who normalized who normalized mm, that most of women Didn't can men like do that, like in like the. Early hundreds, hundreds. When oh, they, during the plays. Yeah, like, they used to wear makeup during the plays. Are you talking to? about the Revolutionary War type? Yeah. The like, British people. They, yeah, shit. wore the wigs and stuff like and that. Yeah. Like, yeah. All that yeah. Stuff. But Did you know what their makeup? makeup was? Their makeup was mercury. So when they took that shit off, they had these craters and shit all in their faces and everything. But that was also the purpose of the makeup. Everybody didn't wear makeup. No, you had to be rich. You, if you Makeup was for rich people, wigs for rich people. Like... That history back then. So it was more of a status thing. Yes, that's what it, exactly what it was. Perfect. Yeah, and like I, I'm not saying it as a bad thing. Like, uh, you know, the the girl I was with, she was with, she was a makeup artist, and she's good at it and shit. And I could see like the confidence that comes with that, but it just I just wonder like the history of it, like how it got to that point. Like that's where you know. A lot of women feel like they they not looking the best if they don't have it on, you know? Like, you go mm-hmm. to a club, they all have it on. Mm-hmm. You go to any sort of outing, they all have it on. And uh, I just wonder how that became sort of normalized, you know? It's an enhancement. That's what it is. It, and it is an enhancement, even for us. You know what I'm saying? Because we like what we see. You know what I'm saying? Females like what they hear. That's why men lie. <laughs> Females wear makeup. It's for us, that's for them. We yeah, do like what we see. No, I... Honestly, bro, like, like when it, if she's pretty, like he's saying, she got on light makeup. I know what light makeup and prom night look like. I don't ever want. <laughs> no, no, no. Prom I night. know. I'm not trying to go all out, but it's, you're still saying I don't uh, want makeup. I don't necessarily need it. I'm yeah, talking about the light that yeah. where you don't really even uh-huh. know. We mm-hmm. just know light foundation. We know girls yeah. wear it, like, but yeah. you don't know. It's an enhancement, like, though. It's automatically enhancement, and I believe, like, I hate when niggas tell they female that she just put two hours on her fucking face. Two hours on her face, like, you know, to do shit right. You look better without it. Nigga, she did it for two hours, and you're going to tell her you look better without the makeup? She feel like she look better with it. Why would you tell her that corny ass shit? Well, well aren't I mean, you what trying to instill girl? confidence I mean, in her, what, though, what, what Two she hours? Real, bro. What if she did, yeah. though? Huh? Right. What if she did? That's yeah. Right. Just being I honest. feel like they normally do. She's going to know she's really going to look good without it, but she knows she looks better with it. She put two hours into that shit. Key, two hours of putting on fucking makeup, she probably do look better without it. <laughs> <laughs> but two? she knows that she looks good with it, too. You know what I'm saying? Jordan saying they think they fit it. It's what the world has conditioned them to think. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that not you saying that's look not right. beautiful with this on, uh-huh. but then go to Walmart you gonna with look your good bonnet on and watch how many. That nigga said with the bonnet on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that's facts, though. Still and still watch how they you. get at yeah. you. Yeah. And they still, still gonna be on your bumper because they know yeah. you're gonna look even better when you get dolled Come up. On. But who's looking forward to, oh, yeah, she's gonna put on some makeup this Friday? I am. I'm not typing it. I'm like, you're gonna look, I bet you look so good dolled up. Like I know you look good now, like you fine as fuck. You made me approach you. I can't imagine when me you step out and you on my fucking arm and you dolled up, hair done, makeup right. I'm like you just immaculate. Man, come on, man. I'm not gonna tell her no corny shit that you look better without makeup. Okay. When I know you can be really. This is how you getting all those pictures. followers. Okay, <laughs> now look. Oh no. Like, oh, nah. <laughs> okay, now let me ask you this though. That's what. Now that's what, what if she pull time. up? Uh huh. What if she pull up? She's dolled up to you, but she's like, oh, I don't even have on makeup. Are you gonna say go put on some makeup? No, no. I mean like. But you just said she dolled up to me. I'm like, damn, that's solid. She don't have oh, no makeup. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm you're not, not saying that makeup is a must. No, it definitely not. But oh, I know okay. that they're gonna do it. 
And at the same time, I'm going to respect her artwork. She just took her fucking time, my nigga. She don't watch yeah. tutorials and all that. You gonna tell the bitch you look better without it? That's fucked up. So you view it? <laughs> yeah, she done did everything. I would. See, you I it. wouldn't. I wouldn't even think of it as messed up because I think you're really, you're really saying that your natural beauty mm -hmm. is solid. You're saying how you were born, mm -hmm. how you look on the daily is solid. I couldn't kick you it with her in the house if I didn't see that. You don't, <laughs> Me or kick you don't, it you don't need you don't need to put all that on. Yeah, you you, you great if you just walk out with nothing. With nothing on. I got you. Like you, I feel like that's a good compliment, to be honest. It is. No, she look good without But it. I get you she put in two hours worth of work to try to you know, look nice, but it's like mm -hmm. you still looking nice to me. You I know. Need to do all exactly. That. You didn't have to do all that. Yeah. But thank God that you did. And I'm thankful. I, I'm willing to be late <laughs> for the fact that it took you that long to get your makeup done. But, I'm cool being late. At least you came out looking like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Me, let's be late. To me, yeah. It was worth it. It's it's good that you did that for you. If that's what mm -hmm. you did and that makes you feel better, then that's fine. She always gonna do it for you too, though. But see, I don't feel like it's just for them though. Who's always complimenting their makeup when they go out? No, but that's what other I'm girls. Females, yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah. like a competition thing. It's like and her man sure. should. Yeah, but I'm saying it's more like they doing it to because like every other girl is so it's like I don't know. I I, I see what you're saying though too. Women's as far as it being an enhancement, mm -hmm. as for, uh, uh, as opposed to like a cover up. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, there's just times too where yeah, I, I, I hey, I, like I, I'm on the opposite. Sometimes I don't want to be late because we it took you three hours to get uh, ready. Oh no, I'm cool with it. If she came, if it's for that, I'm like okay, I'm cool with that being late. I'm late for the right reason. It was worth the wait. It was worth that. It's okay. We can be 10 minutes late. I'm with that, bro. I don't care. I'm like, with that. Look your best on whatever you see your best as. So if you want to look your best and you feel like you got to put on all the makeup, that's fine. But you, you know she's doing it for you too, though. She's doing it for the outside world, but she really wants your... When it's your woman, I promise you, she's only doing it for you. She's not worried about everybody. She's really doing it for you. And she wants you to be the one taking her picture. She wants you to want to be in the picture with her. She's doing it for you. It's so when they're you say, single. If you say you look better without no makeup and she says, I'm doing this for you, then is she really doing it for you? Yeah, she's still doing it for me. I don't, I don't think she's doing I it think for you. I think it's for other people, Keith. I, th I'm not when other they people, single, I, think... I, I don't know, man. Because I know they do it for me. You see her in the pajama pants and yeah. mm -hmm. the big shirt with mm -hmm. the messy bun. You see her that way. So she's most definitely not worried about if you see her. Dolled up, you love nah, it. And, she, in her head. Oh, you, no, nah. what are y'all talking about? They definitely bro. want us to see them like she's doing it for her man. Yeah, she's that doing is it. To, crazy. She's doing, yeah, saying, she's doing it to look. She's doing <laughs> it to look you good. You cannot even but... be going with her. Can you, I ain't gonna get a picture. <laughs> she ain't gonna send me a picture. <laughs> she don't want me to like her shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. So she going out by herself. You think? Not by her fucking self. With her, with her, her, her homegirl. With her homegirl. And you're not going. You think she's going after you? But she wanted me to go. And I'm like, nah, you go do it with your friend. <laughs> but what if she wasn't you going? Do with your what friend? if she wasn't going with you? She, what she wanted she like, to, though. And I turned it down. No, but what I if she didn't ask you? What if she didn't ask you? What if she never asked me? She's like, I'm going out tonight. She gets all dolled up. She's like, I'm going with my friend. She don't ask you to come at all. You know what I say? ready. Make sure I get a picture. Send me my own but picture. You and you better not post that shit on Instagram. If you send it to me, <laughs> this shit better not be in your story or on that. I want to feel special. It better be my own picture, a different pose or something. But no, I'll, I'm going to get that. I definitely wouldn't think that's for me. I would Man. more so think it's for her. Yeah, I keep her I up think, like that, though. I think a lot of it is not, I don't want to say totally competitive, but I feel like a lot of girls go into these settings and feel insecure looking at the other girls being able to do their makeup certain ways and stuff you know i, I just i think so i feel With like lip fillers ooh, and all that go ahead come on go ahead, on, go ahead, go ahead. so come on was she wearing makeup when you met her yeah so it wasn't for you <laughs> what do you what do you mean no? from here on out once i'm there like no she from here on makeup. out i get what she you're saying but she was trying to get somebody I, so she caught my attention, the world. but then I, it was at that point when they single, but when okay, they get me, <laughs> I'm saying when they got me, they moving like that, man. All that Maybelline. Uh -huh. key. <laughs> That's key now. Yeah, did, she, did she change it up? Or was it, is it the same The same. She going to ask, but she going to really ask, like my, she gonna ask my perspective. No, she going to ask my perspective. And Tyrone told all her that. to wear it like that. Get the, That's how you like her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you right. I, I don't Come on now. It's, it's more of a her thing, but that, you oh, know. Man. But I definitely respect your standpoint on you know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Once you know, understanding it. it's an enhancement.
man and shit because they do find confidence in it and i'm mm -hmm. not trying to hate on it like i i do see you know even as men like we have certain things that we get confidence from like obviously her complimenting how you dress and whatever it may be so i'm cool with the confidence aspect it's just more so you know where it could become excessive in the in the it preparation can. And, can. and and having to do it everywhere we go and shit like that i like, like that being shit, okay though. with the confidence is like like being okay with how they're conditioned because mm -hmm. there were women that, like he said, this was a hiatus thing that couldn't afford makeup. Mm -hmm. So they had to be told, you're beautiful without it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting at. So if you're, we're just like falling into the trend. Well, you're going to wear it anyway. So yeah, you're beautiful. You need makeup. Like, no, Damn. you don't. No, you don't need don't it. For wear sure it. you don't. You don't mm -hmm. need it. Take care of your skin and you don't need it. Let your skin breathe. Yeah, you got to let your face breathe. Guys are going to, yeah. I swear, I promise. I yeah. I promise uh, guys are still going to approach you, mm -hmm. talk to you, want you, feel attracted to you and all that. Yeah. I mm -hmm. promise. Why, mm. why are we saying that? The makeup does nothing good for a woman. To be honest, I, I notice more when a woman smells good mm -hmm. than when she has Man. a whole bunch of makeup. Mm -hmm. When she got a nice ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. We're not even looking at the face. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and if it's, Dead done, ass though. if it's done good enough, you don't even really know. Yeah, yeah. See, as a man, I want I want to be complimented on my smell more than my female be complimented on her smell. I want her to be complimented on her her looks because our pheromone it it can fuck your yeah, good cologne mm -hmm. fuck up a, a room of females pheromones. It's Most on a different right. level. I love when a female tell me I smell good. I don't. I'm I like you smell good too. But like I don't think there's a lot of females that ever just went like, damn, you smell good. I'm oh, usually told that first. Yeah. I'll be smelling. I see I'd be like, Dang. No, for real. They walk past, mm -hmm. it'd be right here. What is that? <laughs> trail you leave my Oh home. man. I'm hoping my shit overpowered that trail. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we can do. Oh my life. Oh my life. Got to smell. Got to smell That's the only girl. competition. We got. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I smell better than you. Yeah, Hopefully right. I can outpower yeah, you in here. In well, this that, you do three more? <laughs> Let me do four more. <laughs> Cause you getting all the looks. Let me man, at least get I want, the smells. I want her Let me to look get the so aroma. Good man. <laughs> a, a bad one on your fucking on your arm, man. I don't, and I don't even do a hold of hands. Like just hook my arm. We walking through, and she looks so good. Hold so, on, because you, you confusing me a yeah, little. Bit. How am I confusing you, man? You, you said you wanted the baddest girl, like everybody to want her. So I'm just telling you what I'm picturing in my head. When no, 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 that. not the bad. I, man, I can you can I'm build the bad. I'm just picturing the girl like she's beautiful without mm -hmm. without makeup. Yeah, though. she cold without but makeup then you too. You said you want a girl, so your girl has to be beautiful with the makeup. She's going to be beautiful with the makeup. She's beautiful with it and without oh, it. Okay. But I'm saying when we step out, I love when me and her can be. Neck snappers together, you know. What, what, I'm saying? She, what is through. she stepping out and she not snapping necks? Like She's she going got to. On, she got on the sweats. Oh, we good. She's yeah. still gonna get looked at, like he was just saying. Okay, I'm just. I, yeah, I'm just making sure. No, <laughs> that's, that's a fail. I'm on the hot seat again. Saying, God damn. I just, I just, I was just curious. <laughs> that's a failure. I, say, I didn't know if you wanted to. And she had to be dolled up every time. No, she on your no, arm. no. She no, no. It ain't got to be like that. That's a failure by the scouting department, man. <laughs> Go back in the house, put on some damn. Hey, put on the dress. Put your doll down. Yeah, what the fuck home. you got on? We got, uh, yeah, we got look, company. I was not expecting <laughs> this how you dress. <laughs> you pull out the Ike Turner. <laughs> the Ike Turner face. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> that would be cold blooded. I mean, nah, mm mm. Nah. <laughs> uh, last week, or the other week, we was talking about roommate annoyances. Oh, shit. You, um, you thought about mine? People, people were asking us. To talk about uh, relationships, annoyances. like X. Hold on, what you mean? Annoyances, relationship did, annoyances. Yes, because we did roommate annoyances. Oh, I thought so we already did. Like, oh, okay. Man. It was like, what's some things that annoy you in a relationship? Oh, twerk, you go first on this one, man. I know you got a plethora. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one because it's just so annoying. Go ahead. What is it? When you get up out the bed and they get up. They <laughs> oh, I be ready to go right back to sleep. You he be trying to tip so <laughs> They like sleeping because of you. But you gotta understand the that's no, the masculinity. It could be going nah. to the it could be going to the rest. It could be getting up going to the gym in the morning. You said like, leadership in that house though. You are really running you run an operation in there, man. That is that annoying house. to me because I do. I just like to be quiet. You know, people sleep. Uh huh. Just hop up and. 
What are you up for? Go back to sleep. <laughs> you weren't even awake. No. You weren't even awake. <laughs> just felt the side of the bed. And, like, and you gone. But yeah. That's just that connection, <laughs> though. You get with them, <laughs> man. That That's what it is. to me because I do. I just be trying to be like, I want my own little space, my little time. I find I it funny, God. though, because the reason why I find it funny <laughs> is because how it looks. You know, oh, like, oh. you'll be walking, you'll get up, uh -huh. you'll be getting ready, and if you turn around, like, that eye's right on you. Um, <laughs> Tired. 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 I don't want to make no noise. I'm trying my best not to make what no you doing? noise. That's what real shit. What are you shit. doing? <laughs> Come back to bed. I'm going to the living room. What? I'm going like to the living room. You know stay in the bed. Tired. I know. Stay in the bed. I barely open uh -huh. over here. Stay in the bed. Oh, that was That's yeah. real wow. shit. That is funny. That is a funny sight to see right that's there. That's a good one. <laughs> that, I was expecting that's to say on that. the head. <laughs> <Random. I'm telling laughs> the visual of that is hilarious. Oh, I see it go every to time. Sleep. <laughs> oh, that means you Jeez. run your house all right. That's good, cousin. Hey, that's good. You no, run your house real, all right. I gotta yeah. Get up. It's time mm -hmm. to do oh, something. Oh yeah, he moving. <laughs> I don't want to look lazy. <laughs> she couldn't <laughs> wait to get up. <laughs> it's three in the morning. I'm going to get some water. Just Let your ass down. You ready to get up? Man, I got to say one for me is freaking, uh, it's a it's a cliche one. I feel like everybody feels this, but uh, it's the, the food conversation. And when you're trying to figure out <laughs> what you want to eat, oh, oh, my it life. stresses oh. me out. So because, what is, oh, go ahead, go ahead, my bad. What are you going to say? I was to say, what's your strategy for that, to get her to say what she want to eat? It, sometimes it don't matter. It don't even it matter. Don't? The Cause I'll, t I'll tell you I the story of what happened, because I got so annoyed. I got so <laughs> annoyed, <laughs> because... <laughs> You know, sometimes you want to come up with the game plan and how you want. Right, like yeah. if I decide, if I decide, mm -hmm. maybe she'll just go with it and we can no. just go get that. But that, it really never happens that. like that. Really so yeah, that. <clears throat> right, and, and then you like maybe I could bait her into saying what she wants. Uh huh. So that happened. I I, I was they <laughs> dated, and we we're asked. I was asked what 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 do you want to eat? And I said, <laughs> you know what. <laughs> What did I want that day? Um, oh, I wanted some jambalaya. Mm -hmm. I said, I want some jambalaya down at the freaking yard house. Like, Sounds good. You know, that's, that's what I'm in the mood for. I just got out to gym. Mm -hmm. Let's get some jambalaya. That sounds fine. Oh, we can get whatever you want, but um, <laughs> I really wanted some buffalo wild wings. <laughs> okay, well, we don't need to get, you know. We yeah, can we go get, one spot. I was like, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> that's we can compromise. go get that if you want mm -hmm. to. No, nah, we can just get what you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well then we'll go get the jambalaya. That's fine. Let's go get the jambalaya. You know, uh -huh. let's get let's get it. But I really want to. <laughs> so I'm getting annoyed at this point. So I'm saying, are we going with what I want? Or are we going with what you want? Because mm -hmm. we can <laughs> go with what you want. Right. But I'm telling you, I want some jambalaya. But I'm fine to eat. I am perfectly fine to eat these buffalo edge. wild wings. He on right. The edge. <laughs> Well, I said we can get what you want. Oh, my. Oh, that's 30 minutes. But see, right. I would have deaded so it there. Though. So right there, I was like. <laughs> that, yeah. 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 Nah. So right there, I was like. <laughs> I would have So right there, I was like, well, we're going to get jambalaya. It's easier. We don't have to sit down. And, we don't have to sit down at the Buffalo Wild Wings. And eat. We can just go pick up the food, go back to the house, watch TV. Right. Uh -huh. So I decided right there. That's what it was. Right. Oh, but we don't have we don't have to sit down at Buffalo Wild Wings. We could pick up the food. Are yeah, you serious yeah. right now? <laughs> Like, you, can't, you can't be serious right now. So, how many years were y'all in at that point? I said, <laughs> how about you get your food? I'll get my food and we just meet in the middle, right? Uh, I want to eat what you eat. Oh my Let's God. Let's just get the Buffalo Wild Wings in. <laughs> God dang it. I'm, that's all I want. So, so this, one, this, is, this is what pissed me off about this whole story, right? She goes to call Buffalo Wild Wings because I called her and I said, well, we got we we're gonna do one of the two. You said Buffalo Wild Wings. If you don't if you don't want to go for Buffalo Wild Wings, tell me now. I'm going to get to Jambalaya. She was like, I'm I'm putting in the order right now, and I'm getting the, both of us Buffalo Wild Wings. All right. So I shoot home. I get home. Boom. She putting in the order. We talking on the phone. She said, <laughs> I'm not getting the Buffalo Wild Wings. Why are you not getting the <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings? What? <laughs> Because they don't do online orders. Oh, you was done with I was so that. pissed off. I said, I'm, I'm going right now to get jambalaya. Don't tell me nothing else. I don't even want to eat with you no more. I don't even want to have food. We don't even <laughs> have a meal. I was 
pissed off because I was hungry uh, and I was going to drive straight to the food place and grab my food on the way home. And I had to get uh, home. I was so pissed. I got. I just put my shoes on. I walked that. out. I promise you. I, I think I said, that food conversation is annoying to oh deal with sometimes. God. I think you left too much window t- for change. After the second time, where it's like, "Hey, let's just go get the jambalaya," I'm not talking about a switch no more. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about buffalo <laughs> wild wings so no more. My foot is down. We go in. Yeah, we yeah. go in the yard house. Uh-huh. You could get some chicken wings at yard house. But, but that's see, that's where it's at. Well, this is the problem, though. It's like when you're trying to find something to eat, it's like, I know what I want. I said what I want. Now, you offer something. I said we can go with that. That's fine. But once you put in all these other scenarios, it's like, okay, now I just want to go get my food or I'm done with the whole thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you're trying to give this leeway because you're like, I understand. I'm trying to understand that I know you want to eat with me. Mm-hmm. You know, I know you want us to have the same meal. Because that's usually what they want. Mm-hmm. We want to have, I want to eat together. Let's eat the same thing. That's fine. So I'm just trying to, l- let me compromise with you. I'm mm-hmm. trying to throw in, like, I don't need the jambalaya. I may want it. I can eat it tomorrow. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you can't do that. Exactly. It's just going to be a headache like that. But that's why they act. Females they act. don't want you, look, if females do not really want you to choose what y'all want to eat unless you say, I want to take you on a dinner date. That's the only time oh, they yeah, want yeah, you to yeah, choose yeah. something. <laughs> if it's a dinner day, like, baby, we finna go out to get dressed. We finna go eat but somewhere. But even then, you gotta take you know, somewhere that they like. Not even that they like. Just some, It can be anywhere you like, but you call it a dinner date. But if we just sitting there trying to figure out mm-hmm. eating, what I tell them is, give me three options. You pick the three options, and I'll choose out of those. I can't lose that way. I can't lose, and we can summon that shit down, because you chose those three. Those are the top three that you, there's know. not one you really, I'll I, do I've, I've gotten in wars with that, too. For real, no, I you said, give me I three, choose, I'm going to choose one out of your three, and that's what we're going to eat, because well, I can I, find something there. I said choose choose three, mm-hmm. and then I'll choose the one. Mm-hmm. This one sounds good, let's go to this. Oh, but I'm really in the mood for this one, though. Oh, see, I don't And then there it go. Once I, I, I sit and there, then you back down cancel it, that hole. is it. You made me choose out of the three, and that's what it is. What it is. I'm you not right back down that rabbit hole. Do y'all have a history uh like in these uh experiences of like going on multiple eating dates with this person a dinner date or are you talking about just, just in like general just food thing? yeah like y'all eat together like by these times you've had these oh, hiccups yeah, yeah. We, well no we don't have th- that doesn't happen all the time but i'm talking about when it happens it's annoying because i think in my experience when i like how i found it most successful i remember favorites and shit like that and mm-hmm. and i'm oh, just yeah. i'm just stopping that in and out on the way but home. that's what like, i was gonna say yeah like because if you, you leave oh, you too much and then by that time oh the in and out's there they smell it it's good okay right. you got her favorite right. thing from in and out or I mean, whatever that, you know like that's where i find the most success that happened that can most happen definitely. too yeah they're yeah. choosing that, what they want mm-hmm. right that's yeah. easier because they're not gonna complain because you already got the food right. mm-hmm. but at the same time if you're like get, if they're asking you if they approach you first then that's where the, the, you know, the whole debate happens. If they if they asking me, I I really don't be picky. Like I just be like, I'm that's cool, the thing. cool or whatever. That's the thing. But that, but then there there comes a time where like you just left too many openings for. for I, it, was only two, it was only two choices. Yeah, but you can, you left it like well we could still you know and I'm not about to do that. Like no, after no. we said oh I want to go well, eat with you at yard house cool. Well, that's the thing. Table for like two? I said, six See, yard house guys, they got a variety too. So that's, that's what I'm it. saying. Yeah. yeah, you can get anything. There. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want a buffalo anything. wings? Hey, yard Sandwich, house got chicken wings. All that shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, you right. Oh, yeah, well. A female will find the one thing that's not on the menu and uh-huh. want that. <laughs> yard <laughs> house don't got chicken <laughs> yeah. tacos this big. I they, mean, they're not they shredded chicken like, tacos. They don't make it like <laughs> buffalo wild wings. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You always get in that. It just depends on on how it is. Like to be honest, it depends on the scenario and what they're in the mood for it to be 100 with you my i think my biggest issue is still with food but it's when is this a relationship one still okay yeah. go ahead. okay go ahead where they're not hungry when you're in a drive-thru or when y'all oh, ordering food hungry. <laughs> then you get the food and she wants some of your food <laughs> that that's the worst one so that is that is that's the worst, the worst one because you can't fix that it's I know like i'm so used I don't to really, sharing i don't really be bothered I by that share. i just be like whatever 
Yeah. I'm always just gonna share. Yeah, I'm, I'm open. No matter what. Yeah. Not even if like that's not what you want. I'm always just gonna share. I but always sometimes that's a thought I just that count. Even if she didn't want a big bite. Sometimes I just, just get a little bit more just in case. But like, my, damn, it's a little more just in case. <laughs> just I'm serious. She's not gonna go want right. none when you get a little bit more. That's I know, not. like you didn't have to get that big of a fry. I only wanted one. Instead of getting like the ten piece nuggets, I'll get the twenty piece nuggets and a large fry. Cause then I'm like, I already knew you was gonna eat something. I mean, but I was ready. But if you wasn't, mm -hmm. I'll still eat these 20, 20 nuggets. I'm always going to offer them. If I got food, I'm always like, here. Like, I know you want something. You ain't yeah. ever going to say it, but before we even get to the point, you give me that dog, that puppy dog look. Like, right. We was raised like No, that. yeah. We, I'm, we yeah. always going to feed our, you know, feed out. Yeah. But always. my thing is, I think, I didn't know, like, Byron said to, like, they want us to eat with them. Yeah, they do. Because I'm a they share. Like that. you say, I share. But I'd be like, okay, give me a plate. Give me half and you take half. And they be mm -hmm. wanting to eat out the same thing and mm -hmm. all that. I didn't know that. Like, oh, yeah, no, no. They like that shit. Just give man. me mine and get yours. Bro. I can't even be hungry. I'm like, yo, I'm really not hungry, though. No, but they don't even want to eat until you eat sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. That can't be It'd be crazy, dog. They do that shit. Oh, just yeah. like you said, get out the bed. Yeah, like, it's yeah, a connection right. thing. No, no, no. I most definitely Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. But I'm just like, how? You God. just got hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. You know, I was thinking. Got hungry out of nowhere. And she asked, are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> you know what? No, that, man, that means you got some good male energy, dog. That's all that is. You got real good male energy when they start doing shit like that. You her man, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. What yeah. So that was mental. Though? That was mine, huh? yeah. What about my mental? Though? But that's what we just got to understand. She, <laughs> she's becoming you. That's your rib. <laughs> that's what she became. <laughs> A rib. Yeah, but <laughs> the ribs then, goddammit. If you were real, pick the ribs then. Oh my <laughs> life. Get the ribs. What is this? So that's your annoyance? Yeah. Mine is when you get out the bed and you don't make the bed. If I got out last out the bed, I'm gonna make it. If mm. you were if I got out before you and you get out last, you make the bed. And it, we don't have to say nothing. Like just make sure the bed get made. I hate when the bed's not made. That's mm. a good one. I hate when the bed's not made. I don't make the bed. I go through my, I make phases. my Yeah, That's because you always yeah. get out first. You just yeah, said right. it though. <laughs> right. Maybe if you had got out last and she got out first, you probably I think would make you're right it. about that. Cause you're I early birds, dog. Like I'm going like Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I make that motherfucker. I, I can't do it. Because I want to come, because when I'm tired, I want to come into a nice, clean bed. Made it folded. Them, the the uh, pillows just look. Most oh my God, please let this shit be cold too. <laughs> don't let the pillow be cold. That's how I gotta look from a distance when it's made. Mm -hmm. I need that. I don't really mind that. Uh -huh. You say don't are mind you a bed make, Are you a bed maker though? Or like super organized? Me? No, no, that's no, why. no, no. Oh. I'm not like a heavy bed maker. I feel like you probably are. I am. Yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, Even like yeah. what, like dishes and trash, how you feel yeah. about that? I'm, I'm gonna make sure that's taken yeah, care of. I don't like them just sitting in the sink and shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's only two of us. Why the fuck is anything in the same? <laughs> and it's because how I grew up though. I grew up like some real nasty ass. Like, you know how I came up. Like my dad in them crib, mm -hmm. crazy homie. Like we'll have oh, dishes yeah. piled up on the counter for months when nobody doing no dishes. We putting our hand in soggy water, pulling out, trying to find a spoon and that shit. I swear to God. That's one so, of the most annoying things. Yeah. Yo, it was when so bad. When there's food in a dirty sink yeah. 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 and you gotta reach in there and like unplug that junk I'm and you just feel you. the food and you just- That soggy bread, I'ma throw oh, up. Man. Why is there bread in here? <laughs> <I just laughs> Why did you not man. scrape your plate? Yeah. Why didn't yeah. you just <laughs> empty out the soap water? All you need to do is pull it and out. And I would just take trash <laughs> out. You don't have to tell me. If I see a fool, I'm not gonna wait for it to get more full. I, I'm the type, I wanna move without being told what to do. Cause I don't yeah. like my coattail pool. I want to pull my own. Like I know when I need to tighten up or do some shit. I hate hearing right. it from somebody else. I hated it since a kid, so I just always try to stay out of that line, like of being told what to do. Mm -hmm. So like my trash, when I'm taking that out, if I see a dish in there that I know is mine, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna wash it. Even if it's my woman, I'm gonna wash it. It's like it's a dish. Let me take care of it. But if you're doing that, why don't you clean your own too? You That's good. Cause I hate telling people what to do. Yeah, I that hate that shit. Me. I, I hate, hate that like, shit, bro. Like, why do I have to tell you? Yeah, please don't. Have, please don't tell me shit. Yeah. I just got, I I, I, I'm out of school. I ain't with my parents. Don't <laughs> tell me what the fuck to do. And I don't want to have to tell you what to do. It's just like, we should know how each other move. If I see something that's like not straight, I'm going to straighten that motherfucker out. Yeah. It's always good to like, because I, I try to like test or like feel out people's respect level in their home. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just how I try to be. Like, how do you live and let me try to operate according to that. Because it's your house. I want to respect your house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of just being like walking in somebody's house doing like ruthless stuff and just not caring. I've seen somebody get upset about like they they already are like a messy 
or disorganized people. I can say mess disorganized, mm -hmm. and then they let somebody stay with them, who added to their disorganization, and they they were on that nigga head. Like, <laughs> don't add to my mess, nigga. Like, you know, because when you when you stay with somebody, you want to move like a phantom. You feel me? Right. But they know how their level how their level of confusion is. Why are you adding to it just because you see it like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna still come in with my own <clears throat> bag of morals and how, how I maneuver no matter what. And if it's clean like that, I'm gonna stay clean with it. I'm not gonna add to nobody feel it. Yeah, well, like yeah, to me, I just still feel out how people how people live it. It just to me, I want to know how you live mm -hmm. and understand that because I don't want to just walk in, in, into somebody's house and then be touching their stuff. Yeah, yeah, but you know, right, some right. people don't want you to touch their stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you'd be like, oh yeah, let me let me str I straighten up your table for you. They're gonna be like, that's my table. I'm not, I'm <laughs> I didn't want you to do that. <laughs> that's how I have it. Right, exactly. This is, this Shit is like what, that. You know, and that's why I just be like, I couldn't stay with somebody. Some people like that, I just though. don't touch their stuff. I yeah. just be like, I don't know. But if I see people and they're like, they like it clean, they they put out the coasters and then they got to put their cups on coasters, then I know, okay, if I get a cup out, I'm gonna put my cup on a coaster because it's how they run their household. I'm not gonna disrespect their household and just be like, on the wood, man. <laughs> you got coasters. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say that's that's why precedence is so important, though. Like you had brought up how the people was mad that someone else came in and they made it more dirty and they was already dirty. But that's that's sort of I said disorganized. Or yes, yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> disorganized. Just in case though. motherfucker watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> disorganized though, but that's sort of the precedent you set though too. Uh, Where Suave say, oh, if he seen someone put a coaster and that, that's like the host of the the house, the home or whatever mm -hmm. or the person that you moved in with or whatever that's the precedent being set like hey that's what we do here you know so i just think precedent's important yeah like, would that yeah. person be wrong though like even though they're disorganized and then they're they let this person stay there and they're adding to the disorganization and then they're checking him on like yo don't don't be just doing shit like that are they in the wrong I don't think they're necessarily nah. in the wrong, but yeah. again, like it's hard when you set the precedence that stuff is okay, and mm -hmm. then that person feels it's okay. Yeah, it's like I just don't let I don't move how everybody move, and that's my thing. I can't expect that on everybody else. Yeah, because that that's that threw me for a ringer when I heard that shit. I'm like, but your shit disorganized. Like, <laughs> how y'all yeah. you, you notice his shit? It, it, it'll <laughs> throw you for a loop sometimes. You see yeah, it's like wild. Way. It all depends. But it, it's it's real though. That's his home. That's that person's crib. So don't put my cup next to these yeah. seventeen. Cups. Come on, yeah, okay. I yeah. yeah. Sure. Now I had to. So y'all don't want me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but that's, here? that's more so what it is. Like that's you kind of don't want someone else in the house. Yeah, you like, nitpicking you, like that. They yeah. don't want you there, bro. Yeah, they don't want you there. Now I had to learn it kind of young. I remember when I was younger. One of my best friends, he had like a little brother who would like kick it with us. And he would be talking shit to his brother and shit. And I thought, hey, that that like sets a precedent. Like, oh, we could talk to him this way. And I was young, you know, we could talk to him and like, I don't want to say bully, but you know. And then he like, mm -hmm. like I I said something to him, and he like, nah, you can't talk yeah, to him like that. like that. Yeah, you yeah. know. And it's like, but that also like was like, bro, you you kind of have to see the precedent you set too, you know. Mm -hmm. Even even like when you have kids and shit, like you can't be, you know. I mean, I'm not saying you can't be that way, but you just have to be aware of the, you know, the sort of precedent you say, oh, hey, he, you you talking to him like this, someone's going to view it like, oh, I could, okay, I could talk to him this way, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why I don't fuck with that bitch word. Like, yeah, right. my, my homies call me a bitch and all that shit, and then we around niggas, I don't know. I don't ever want that to go through their head thinking that shit going to be smooth and okay. That's why I tell the homies, don't play with me with that word. I don't mm -hmm. play with that because you never know who you saying it around, who might look at me like, okay, I can call this nigga the same thing. Right. Yeah. You're not going to get the same reaction though, bro. That's why I tell all my homies, do not play with me with that word. Yeah. That, like you said, the president. How you say it again? Uh, precedent. <laughs> precedent. I <laughs> yeah. like that one. Yeah, no, it's yeah, true yeah, though. Yeah, let like, me put that yeah. on my phone right now. I'm yeah. a I'm a word guru. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me put that in. He said, let me take out the phone and put that in there. Bro, I just learned another. In. Yo, I was watching a football game, and I learned the word uh, deleterious. I never heard that. Harmful. He was like, this quarterback is doing everything that's deleterious to the team right now. Everybody was like, did y'all see that play? I said, nigga, did you hear that word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I looked that word. Man, I love that shit. Yeah. Now, it's cool when you can utilize new words, too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know how to say that shit. Yeah. Precedence? Precedence. P R E C E N D. Press, uh, yeah, you lost me already. Press. Uh, <laughs> it's, I couldn't be in those. Uh, P R E C E. Precedence. <laughs> oh yeah, P R E C E. Oh shit, it's spelled. What I'm saying. P R E C E D E N C E. -E. I yep. fuck with that word. Thank yep. you. Yes. Add, add to it. Mm -hmm. So what, another thing I was curious about is labels, just because I thought of something interesting. 
an interesting scenario. So I'll ask you guys first and I'll tell you guys the scenario. But um, <clears throat> if um, somebody is labeled as something, do you think they should be labeled that for the rest of their life? Mm, can you give me an example? I'll give you the example <laughs> after you answer the question. Oh, no, nah, hell no. no. That's hard. Right world, Fuck no. Fuck bro, it, life is about experience, bro. Yeah. And, you know, if I if I had lied to somebody when I was 15, that don't make me a liar when I'm 30. Oh, but do okay. you think people label people for stuff? For the rest of their life? For, yeah. Um, yeah. Most. People, <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> niggas holding Ain't grudges. That right, yeah. I think yeah. that's in your own self-growth, yeah. though. Yeah. Like, if you, can't, if you can't come to a situation where <clears throat> you're able to have a conversation 15 years later about growth and shit like that, then... You kind of have to look at yourself on that too. Yeah, I think that's one of the the harmful the harmful things about labels is that we know people grow and change, so we know like people probably ain't gonna be the same in the same mind frame or the same person that they were like mm -hmm. five years ago. Right. But people will still give people the same label that they had years right. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you and, know, and so right. you got to reprove yeah. that shit through violence. Oh. <laughs> so that that's why y'all thought I wasn't coming or I was going to be late. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, he changed y'all. Oh. Example, oh, example fire. right here. Exhibit A, Tori. Exactly. <laughs> we had a whole celebration in here. Oh, me, man. man. It's a prime example. <laughs> what? I don't think yeah. I was coming. I, know, I didn't. <laughs> you always say that. Um, <laughs> I People didn't. can change, yeah. But it's just crazy because there's some scenarios where, like, uh, you know, people probably have off somebody before and they'll be labeled as a murderer their whole life or a killer their whole say, life. Like, and yeah, it's like, a felon would hate this question. Yeah. Like, no. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I don't it's, know what it's so crazy because I, that, that's so, it, I just feel like it's so dangerous that we'll keep people at a label. Like, there's somebody that I know that people are steadily calling them, like, a bad businessman and that label is stuck with them for like years mm. and it just won't never leave okay does it oh, um, my bad. i was just gonna say does it come back up when another bad business decision is made or is it just constantly over that person i mean does, well I mean, it, I mean i guess it would depend on the scenario but uh, uh, okay, yeah i was gonna say okay yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, would, I would think mm -hmm. if it would definitely. but i think that would cause people like still ima imagine if uh something happens where it's not really a bad business decision but it's just something where you, you as a businessman makes a mistake mm -hmm. right but people already was saying this person's bad a bad businessman mm -hmm. so then from that mistake they're automatically going to say well you're a bad businessman i knew that i knew that about you you know they'll immediately go to that label because mm -hmm. they heard it before they okay. you know got with I'll, this person. I'll go ahead sorry so people have to redeem themselves in order to be looked at different then, correct? They have to do some type of gesture or some type of, you know what I mean? I got an example that's not it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I see I see what you're saying. I just feel like that's so that's so crucial too. Okay, well that's why I'm gonna give you a situation. There we go. I know it's so supposed to go. An older man, an old man mm -hmm. murders somebody in your family, grandma, whatever. He doesn't have time. He passes away. Mm -hmm. Are you going to, 15 years from later, still consider him a murderer, correct? He didn't do anything to show that he was anything different. Right, 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 right. So that's why I'm asking that. Do people you mean, would, would he would he stay a murderer if that... Would well, you still label him the murderer? He well, I mean, I would... Someone in your family mm -hmm. didn't do anything in his life to show you that he's changed or grown to be mm -hmm. labeled something different mm -hmm. he uh, passed away or whatever uh, yeah, the case what you mean. may be so you got to show that so you're saying you got to show that you're not the label anymore mm -hmm. I, i'm asking yeah I, I would i would think so like you would have to show that you're not uh that anymore like whatever oh, okay. the label is to so people can see i got it, an example but. that one that you you there's no coming back from child molesters Right, you're always gonna label that nigga as a child molester. It's just embedded in us as a as, as society. This right. nigga will forever be a child molester. Ain't no getting away with that. We ain't forgiving you on that shit. Right. I I think I there's mean, certain that, certain yeah. things, certain actions where you wonder how can someone learn. Like if you if you if, if you a grown ass man and and that's your intentions what's going to change now because you what you got caught or i don't know like I, and i think that's more so the 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 context you have to question you know well i think people can change it just depends on if they learn from what what happens or 
you know, they get in a different mind frame. So like sometimes being caught in something yeah. is going to prison. Yeah. Is, mm-hmm. is it could be the change that somebody needs because they get to reflect on dang, like mm-hmm. I really did this. Like, man, people going to mm-hmm. view me as this. And do I, do I want to always be viewed as this and they can change their approach. They can yeah. change how they want to live their life from there. Child molester can't get away with it though. Oh, well, not, but, but that, no brings, that brings <laughs> back to like, we solidify people on labels. So mm-hmm. no matter what, so like, a child molester, they're always going to say that. They're always going to be like, you are this, but that, you ever that's the same that? with like murder. That's the same with like um, some people with lions, some people, uh, somebody stole from them, some people, uh, s- sexuality, all that stuff. People can like label them as this forever. I've seen people forgive that. killers, but I've never seen a child molester be forgiven. I've seen killers forgiven. Not once have I ever seen a child molester forgiven. Who's doing like you got murderers who's sitting here, they've been forgiven and they're they're doing like talks to people and shit. How many child molesters, nigga, is out here giving out speeches and shit to talk to? You're not doing that. You're not getting that respect. I think because people look at that as an unforgivable act. Exactly. Yeah, because you you one. are an experienced human being who's taking advantage of an adolescent that's inexperienced. A child's purity, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Um so would they be considered labeled? Mm-hmm. That's why this is all perspective at the end of the day. Oh yeah, it's still it's still labeling. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like that's still a label that's exactly. sticking with that person no matter what, even if that person were to, were to change. But it's that that's what I feel like is a problem with us as people when it comes to labels is we make mm-hmm. people live in the, in in labels. Mm-hmm. We'll make people live in that. Like you always are going to be this, mm-hmm. and right, they can be like right, right. people could tell you straight up like, well, uh. Well, I don't I don't do this no more. This I've grown from this. I'm not that person no more. And, and mm. people will still look at you label like them in, in that yeah. in that light. Well, yeah, I, go I, I think life is like on a huge spectrum. And I feel like a lot of people more so find things so definitive with labels because they don't want to live in uncertainty. And so even like considering like the bad business thing, even with like Yelp, so many people love Yelp and they won't go to a restaurant until they see it has five stars or something because they don't want to experience it for themselves and feel like they wasted their time for themselves figuring out if this is a good restaurant or not, you know? So it's Mm -hmm. really tough because I feel like, personally, I feel like everything is more so on a spectrum, even considering like your example with, okay, this guy murdered somebody. He was an old guy and he passed away. Is he still considered a murderer? I think there's more to that. Like what's the context behind being a murderer? Are you associating that with being a bad person? You know, there's like things beyond just being a murderer that you can associate with that label, you know, similarly like, oh, this guy's a felon. Oh, well it was 20 years ago. So, you know, you know, now he runs a business and these certain things where you said he has those sort of experiences to then, alleviate some of that label on that spectrum you know so i don't know it's tough but i i I truly feel it's just a matter of that like a lot of people don't really want to live in that uncertainty and so labels make it easier to say okay this person is this this person is this so people can understand as opposed to understanding it's like fluctuative categorizing shit we quick to do that yeah make it yeah to make it be understood to them everybody's trying to find a way to make it make sense to them do you think that's uh, a good way to approach life or no but i don't know how that will ever change yeah yeah i think it it will come when people can accept more uncertainty in certain situations like we don't need to define everybody as what we think they are i'm right. justin bieber yeah Remember, i'm justin bieber. <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly like not everybody's like who you perceive them as yes. so sometimes you got to be mm. able to be like Oh, who is who is this person now? Like who I, th- I might be looking at a totally different person. You don't yeah. even have to ask, and that's what I've learned in life mm-hmm. that you can trust that people will show you who they are. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't have Facts. to trust no one. Think, put your own expectations on them. Trust that they're gonna show you because it's a person that can be good friends with all of us, but a villain to somebody else. They'll act, or, or, or yeah, one of man. us. He mm-hmm. may can hold himself from not hurting Key or Jordan, but he'll shoot me or B or you know what I mean. You, you can trust people will show you, and that's what you have to know. Mm-hmm. That people will show you who they are. That's why yeah, I say it's so good. important to like. We all got exes. And create your own experiences <laughs> with people. So many people will tell you like, "Oh, this person did me wrong," or so, but sometimes like. 
that's their dynamic, mm-hmm. you know? And I think sometimes you have, hey, within a person's character, maybe you can assess it that way. But like I said, with everything being like, you know, sort of more so on a spectrum as opposed to definitive, it's on you to create your own experience with that person. Like me, me and Key, mm-hmm. if we came across, oh, hey, like uh, we, I was telling Key, you know, my brother is a bartender. At, at, yeah, so and so. Right, yeah. 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 And so, uh, <laughs> you know, and so uh, he... Uh, and we and maybe he had heard, oh, well, hey, this guy is this way, as opposed to like he could create his own experience with that person, mm-hmm. and that's just what his experience is. Yeah, I okay. feel like a, more people should have that open mindedness, like as opposed to hearing he, hearsay about a person. You yeah, know? and that's why I tell people don't don't formulate your don't formulate a perspective on me off of what you heard from somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they might look at me as a villain, you might look at me as your right hand. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when I meet people. You can tell me, you can hype this person up, be talk bad about this person, but until I am actually meet this person, I'm not going to have no thought of them. Yeah. You're not going to put no perception on somebody else for me. I'm about to go sit there and experience that myself. You got to. Now, with that being said, somebody say, this is a child molester, but he wants to talk to you. <laughs> See? Are you going to go sit That's down I'm and not, chit I'm not thorough like that then. No. <laughs> you get what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I got my boundaries. He wants got, to know. Yeah. I'm not 100% for that. But I think you could. Child molesters, that one. I'm. A, it's everybody. I feel like that's where everybody in the world. That's their line. <laughs> that's where we we'll go against everything we say. Oh, you a chop? Fuck you, nigga. But what if it's a false accusation? Like, uh, would you create that experience with that person? And like, you can be direct with them and ask them questions. Like, yo, this is what I heard. And if this is the mm-hmm. case, these are my boundaries with this. No, and it don't got to be it, that professional of conversation. But you know, like, what if that? What if that's a false accusation though? Off of what another female's? Oh, okay, so he ain't go to trial or nothing for that shit. Yeah. That that's so hard to play with, dog. Well, yeah. see, I'll, say, got, I'll tell you because there, there's say. actually a situation that happened like that, and uh, and multiple, like in the dance realm, oh, really? uh, where people were being accused of, you know, grooming children, mm. and not every case was like proven. So it was it was it was one case of someone that I knew, and people were like getting on on me, saying. Well, if you if you know this person, like you you got you you're not holding them accountable. You're not doing this. You're not because you know what they did. And I'm like, I don't know. Right, right, right. That's the point. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what this person did. I don't know the story. I don't know if the cops went to their house. I don't know Apparently. if they got arrested. I don't know. The parents hasn't haven't said anything. Nothing's been heard. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I don't know. I'm just going off of what you're saying mm-hmm. from what you heard from somebody else. Mm-hmm. So it's like the story is I heard, I heard, I heard. Right, so you right. want me to go off of a whole bunch of I heard, I heard mm-hmm. instead of talking to the source, which would be that person. If you didn't get, if you didn't go to prison for it, then you can sit there and talk to me. But if I know you got locked up for this shit, I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. Yeah. You know and what it's I'm such saying? a slippery slope right now because people are people a lot more loose shit. with terms. Uh-huh. So they'll immediately ru- rule something out as something and it might not even be the case. Right. If like somebody would be racist so quick and they'd be like, dang, is it really a racist situation or are you just mad because they said something like that Truthful. seems negative about black people? Just like the yeah, beat, the exactly. fucking beat, the fire alarm. So it's like, you'll look that at fire it. Fire alarm beat. That- oh. And you only see it on all their videos. That's real <laughs> life. I'll be dying. I mean, I just saw Blueface doing it. He had, he was like talking to his son yeah. on his video. He heard a beep. I said, even at this nigga crib, <laughs> millions, and you still got that shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so crazy. Crazy. But and, and like you said, with it being a slippery slope, like there was that uh, pitcher for the Dodgers, uh, Trevor Bauer. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. who was like let go from the Dodgers and everything because this girl said that he assaulted her and, and shit. And now it came out two years later that he's actually innocent and she framed the whole situation and they got texts of her planning this out and shit. To and get like, all the other players too. She was, she was yeah. like, it was my next victim. She, but, that, but isn't that crazy though? It's like, bro, you damn near guilty until proven innocent now yeah. as opposed yeah. to the opposite. That's it, anybody in jail too though. It really you're sucks. Gonna, you're yeah. going to sit in jail fighting your case and then you're going to find out not guilty. They dropped all charges and everything. Like, but you had to sit down the whole time. Yeah, and you had to pay a, a bunch of all money that and shit, shit. Yeah. just to get off clean slate. Bro, yeah, you're guilty to proven innocent. And what yeah. sucks is and it the seems like system. it seems like it's really situational too. In some cases, in jail. Well, no, with like certain labels that people do. Like some some people will like blow it up on someone else, mm-hmm. and it'd be something like that. So you we don't even know. The whole context behind it but mm-hmm. then some stuff be blatant like um when dana white 
Like his him him, him when his, he hit his wife, yeah. he beat yeah. that, yeah. And people were trying to get on him, but that junk that junk died quick. Died super quick. Because it's, it it's wasn't, Dana White. Don't yeah. post nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he got TMZ in his pocket. You better not post shit. They they was trying to get on his He's head. A, and that junk. I'll died. cancel UFC right now. That but it didn't blow up like how some, some other situations would. That's real shit. Because Chris Brown was going through it for the longest. Oh man, Dana, still to this day, there's there'll be people that be like, man, "Why are you over?" That's real. People shit. got on Kelly I didn't for even defending think him. about that. Dana White shit it was only that one time. I wonder if it's due to the girl though, like if the girl is like, "Hey, it was my like," because even like what's his face, the guy who was in Black Panther or not Black Panther, the the new Creed movie. Oh, you talking about uh, Downs, Jonathan Downs mm -hmm. or whatever. Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Majors. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He he had an issue too, and then you know, then the girl starts saying, "Oh, it's not an issue." The something. hush money. That's yeah. What the but then I, I don't know if that's what c calms it down because I think that's what happened mm -hmm. with Dana White. His wife was like, "Oh no, I was drunk. Like, I'm cool with it." That's his wife. Yeah, she like, "Fuck, I'm a fuck." We do this. this. We do this every Sunday. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he was showing me the moves. He was showing me moves. Dana White. <laughs> he showed me moves. Yeah, I mean, cause they, I mean, they was trying with Michael Jackson for a long time. Michael Jackson with the labels that they were trying mm -hmm. to give Michael. Oh, Michael! Yeah, I'm talking about him beating. I'm like, who Michael Jackson? Nah, fight? Nah. It was with the little kids. Yeah, the kids. <laughs> That's great. I know. Bro. Beat oh my god! <laughs> How he hit him? Hit a girl. I think that would be so crazy. Or if he, <laughs> Mike could really got fight so though. Much character Shh. though. That's why. Hey, if Mike could really fight though, that'd be crazy. Just imagine how much character he'll have Boy, in his life. Gary, Indiana. He you get, <laughs> you get <laughs> all fingers is slapping you, like one by one. <laughs> I told you. All back hands. <laughs> I told you once, huh? <laughs> Yeah. I'm tired of this shit. Bro, I ain't gonna tell you this again. Y'all remember the Jackson fight? Uh huh. They the boy Joe had them in boxing gloves. I did not on that, the movie. All that that Michael that we seen that was all propaganda. He transitioned. He transitioned into all that. If y'all remember, like yeah, that was for the Michael. That, that was, was an a real nigga. Oh, yeah, <laughs> real nigga. Fight all that boy. They grew up in Gary, Indiana. Oh damn. The murder one of these men. That, yeah. What are we taking from I this? I believe it. Swah. Because I was oh, cousin, what you taking mm -hmm. from this? this whole... yes. Yeah, we always do a takeaway on each podcast. So it's like, what do you, what do you get? What do you think people should take away from this this whole podcast? This whole episode. Um, wow. Um, don't wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> beauty is beauty is beauty is within. Um, Beauty is within confidence, confidence is, is, uh, key. is key. It's key. K E I. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like that. Beauty, uh, beauty is within is a good one. In fact, um, trust that people will show you who they are. That's a big one. Good shit. I like that. That's, one. that's a real trust big one. People that gives you trust issues, mm -hmm. anxiety, and stuff like that. I think that's really Let good. Let them show you. I, I've learned that. I'm happier with when people show me, mm -hmm. even when it hurts. I promise. I think um, that's the one. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let people show you who they are. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Man, we appreciate you coming, cousin. Yeah, this was dope. Real, man. I'll be you know, yeah. this yeah. reminds me with kids. Everybody be sitting there talking all night. <laughs> I man. know, right? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, he used to. I'm telling you, we learned a lot from him. We, yeah, he man. was the one who was like the the role model going, yeah. <laughs> growing up. You wanted to reach that. Yeah. You wanted to reach that. But see, yeah, he, he was he was doing big things. Mm -hmm. It's not like he was doing anything small. He had like he was stepping back then. All the stuff. Dancing. He was like part of the reason why I danced. Almost definitely. This guy right here. So it, that's dope. Yeah. Uh, Definitely a big inspiration. For sure, cousin. We appreciate you coming, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, but like he said, um, let people show you who, who you are. I think that's that's solid right there. Like we need to be more open minded when it comes to um, feeling people out and and being open to seeing people and being like allowing them to be who they are and then mm -hmm. taking that for what it is. You see people's like shady. All right. <laughs> 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 I learned you might not be for me. Right. You that know, was. some people might not be for you, but that means they might be for somebody else. They for people who like shady people. There I go. Right. <laughs>
But yeah, this was a good podcast. I, I definitely like this one. It was yeah. uh, good yeah. to have you in here, cousin. And I broke the ice. I, I was going to wear my glasses. I, I know. That was fun. I remember you talking. So I'm glad you did it, man. That's Y'all made me feel a little more comfortable. Oh, yeah. You, come on now. Shoot, I would have worn my glasses with you. I would have been like, oh, let's, <laughs> let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do it on the next one. Okay. Everybody got to wear glasses the next one with them? For sure. Yeah, we'll all wear bring some glasses. Okay. I got some sunglasses. Okay, okay. For sure, just for you. Yeah, for we'll sure. do it. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to feel crazy. <laughs> no, you good. But no, yeah. yeah, I like that. We'll do yeah. a sunglasses episode. All right. That'd be dope. <laughs> but yeah, we appreciate you guys for tapping in, showing us as much love as you guys showed us this past week. Got us to all the followers we got. Man. Welcome, Welcome to all the people who's like just tapping in and tuning into the show. We appreciate you for coming in joining the conversation uh, commenting in there we be seeing y'all comments we appreciate the love and stuff like that and yeah if you guys can just keep you know showing us love keep coming back you know we always gonna be here ready to chop it up with you guys again Real so, appreciate y'all yeah. man much love and we'll see you guys on the next one peace peace, peace. Y'all be smooth <laughs>